entertainer because I'm not a Muppet. I'm not here to play a character. I'm not here to pretend that I'm something that I'm not. I don't dye my hair. I don't act stupidly constantly to get attention from children. I don't do stupid pranks. You know what I mean? I don't cause drama. I'm here just to play games and have fun. I'm a legitimate gamer. Big up your dad. I eat banana, tasty banana. Put banana in my mouth, tasty banana. I eat banana, tasty banana. Please don't feel it comes in the milk. Put banana in my mouth, squeeze banana. Put banana in my mouth, in my mouth. Squeeze banana, squeeze banana. Put banana in my mouth, in my mouth. Act and talk a certain way with certain mannerisms, certain over the top reactions. Beaming at the top of their lungs, jumping, flailing, doing weird things, constantly on camera. I eat banana, tasty banana, put banana in my mouth, tasty banana. I eat banana, tasty banana, please don't peel it, comes in the milk. Put banana in my mouth, squeeze banana. Put banana in my mouth, in my mouth. Squeeze banana, squeeze banana. Put banana in my mouth, in my mouth. When we hit the 250 vestry for that celebration, I'm going to debut a new vest. There we go. Celebratory bubble blow. Very nice. There's bubbles everywhere. There's bubbles all over my PlayStation 4 controller. There's bubbles on my microphone stand. There's bubbles everywhere tonight. It's out of control. Like exploding in the stream chat. People who, oh, they pretend like they support me. They pretend like they're positive, and they're not. They're shitheads. They sit here and they sneak this and they say underhanded things. They try to literally bring up uh, either detractor memes or, or literal drama shit every day. They do it on purpose so that they can try to derail the shit that I'm doing on my streams, you know? And it just gets to the point where it's so frustrating. I just want to have fun, man. I really just want to fucking have fun. That's it. That's all I want to have to do is have fun with you guys. Fun, 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 fun. fun. Way more fun, 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 fun. I just want to have fun, 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 fun. Way more fun, 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 fun. I just want to have no taxes, bills to pay. Nice and chill stream today. You're having a fun and interactive time with me and you're finding entertainment, positivity, and value in it. Then the support should just come natural. Okay? I just want to have fun, 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 fun. Way more fun, 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 fun. I just want to have fun, 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 fun. Way more fun, 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 fun. Here's the bottom line, and I'm tired of it now. No more excuses, all right? Because the bottom line is people are like, Phil's not engaged in his commentary. And Phil's commentary is boring. And that's why people don't want to watch the playthroughs of the streams. <laughs> Bullshit. I'm loving this game. I'm voice bullshit. acting. I'm engaged. I'm commentating on I everything. I love it when he just says actively. bullshit. 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 I call, I call bullshit. bullshit on any now give me money. Who says that about either the Watch Dogs 2, which I've been playing recently and really liking, or Pokemon. It's bullshit. I call All right, here's the deal for this stream. I just got off a, a stream on Twitch. It was relatively short. Now I'm gonna watch the the pre-stream, and I'm gonna have a drink. And if I have enough drinks and have enough fun, uh, maybe later we're gonna watch some more uh, DSP clips from yesterday. Because yesterday was such a fucking stinker of a stream. It was so miserable. Both streams were mega miserable. So yeah, uh, it should be fun. Uh, but only if I have drinks, okay? Okay. It's like I'm... <laughs> it's almost like I'm asking you to buy me a drink. No, I got everything here. <laughs> it's alright. And it's also a Friday night for me, so... Tomorrow I got nothing to do, basically. Pay my taxes. Pay my back taxes. I have to pay my mortgage. Pay my internet bill. I have to pay them, pay them, pay them bills. I have to pay them, pay them, pay them bills, bitch. Pay them taxes. I have to pay them, pay them, pay them bills, bitch. Day to 
day, tips to tips, to pay bills and things, eventually things will get better. But I'm kind of stuck right now with how things are. That's why I'm trying to make money. I have to pay my bills. You know, I have to pay my pay my pay my bills. I have to pay my pay my pay my bills. I have to pay my pay my pay my taxes. Bills. I have to pay my pay my pay my bills. Bills. I have to. If you want to sit here and you want to pretend like you're holier than thou, I'm better than those content creators, man. Because I have a job where I work nine to five and I bust my ass at my job and I earn a paycheck, man. And then I come home, see? I'm not on the internet begging for Because you're not rich and you're not famous and you're not this and you're not that. You had an opportunity to be. <laughs> blew it all. Right? Well, oh well. I'm that, proud that, of that. That, that, that's what's hard. I guess I'm proud to be a loser. I guess I'm proud to be a loser. Go this blow his stuff up. Girl. I'll be the guy on level one. I streamed myself masturbating. I'll be the guy me. on life. I'll be the me. For thousands of children. I'll be the guy on level one. I agree. You're still on mission one. I'll be the guy <laughs> on level one. Level, level <laughs> one. Married happily, paycheck to paycheck happily. Meaningful relationship, meaningful life with the family. And that, by the way, I have to raise money to pay too many bills next week. All my utilities are due next week. Tomorrow, if I stop streaming, I would not be able to get a job. So it would be the end of my life. But outside of that, everything else is good in my life. You know what I mean? So I'll be the guy on level one. I streamed myself masturbating. I'll be the guy. Fuck life. I'll be the for the thousands of children. I'll be the guy on level one. You're still on mission one. I'll be the guy. I'll be the. I'll be the. I'll be the thousands of children. When your life is all positive instead of negative, it's a much better situation. Big up, scared ass. And I can take that from personal experience. I'm lurking. My life now. I have a beautiful wife. I have a beautiful life with a family. Right. Everything here. It's so much better than I, what I had before. Why? Because I'm a positive person. Why do I say I'm not a children's entertainer? Because I'm not a puppet. I'm not here to play a character. I'm not here to pretend that I'm something that I'm not. I don't dye my hair. I don't okay, we've heard this one already. Constantly to get attention from children. I don't do stupid. I've heard this already. Rewind the stream if you click, didn't hear you know, it. If someone just keeps saying sorry when they do something, uh, they're not really apologizing, right? If you just if you, apologizing isn't just words, it's I will not do this thing again because I feel bad about it. Um, if you keep doing the thing, you're not. It's not actually an apology. You have no respect for people that are alive, for fucking people that are dead. You don't give a shit about anybody yourself you have no respect apologizing isn't just words you have no respect well, do you value money more than our friendship but that's the way of them saying we want nothing to do with phil at all moving forward let's make up a bunch of shit or twist a bunch of shit to make him sound bad because everyone hates him now anyway on the internet so let's make him look like the villain so everyone will believe it and we'll just be washing our hands of the whole situation and we never have to deal with them ever again. And you know what? Look what's happened. Literally, no one bugs them anymore. Nothing. It's all, they're completely washed. The cans are clean. You have no respect for people that are alive, for fucking people that are dead. You don't give a shit about anybody but yourself. You have no respect. Apologizing isn't just words. It's I will not do this thing again. You have no respect. Because I feel bad about it. He watches too much WWE. John starts getting text messages at 5, 5, 6 o'clock in the morning. That means it's like 2 o'clock in the morning there. So now, when you start reading them, you start looking at it, and it doesn't make any sense why he's even texting. And, and it's not even coherent. So you start wondering if the guy was, like, if he's been drinking and texting. 
the sugar do in the sauce? Add sweetness. Add a contrast. If you don't, it's all going to be tartness, and you mm -hmm. won't have any. It's going to be acidity to from tomatoes. Right. You'll have and then tart, spice. Tart and it's acid and nothing else. This is um, probably the most fun I've had making right. a song. It was so, <laughs> I love it. Man. This one's for all my baby girls. Italian wife. Italian wife. Italian bills. Uh, thank you for the super chat, Elizabeth Italian Montgomery. Big ups. Italian wife. Italian wife. Italian, wife. Italian chill. Italian can't give her a pill. I'm half kind of European mix. European style, Asian fusion style tips. Greasy hair, pasta once a week. It's authentic style, Asian fusion style, Italian. Guess what else we're gonna add? What? Sausage. <gasps> Italian sausage. That's gonna go in here too. I love sausage. I have had many varieties. Italian wife. Italian wife. Italian bills. Italian dark side fit. Italian wife. Italian wife, Italian chill, Italian can't give her a pill. Why do you pretend to be Italian? I don't. I'm not full-blooded Italian. That'd be ridiculous for me to claim. I am a quarter Italian. I am one quarter Polish, and then I'm half kind of European mix. Now, I do have a favorite ask. Okay, I mentioned this on tonight's late stream i'm gonna probably be mentioning it on every stream this week um here's the deal this week i have two very large bills due but then i also have my day off on wednesday i bring this up because i need you to refocus your support if you were already planning on supporting me this weekend this one's for all my baby girls bill's a joke bill's a clown fucking loser bill's this bill's that he's a low cow Bill's a beggar. Bill's a beggar. Bill's a joke. Bill's a clown. Bill's this. Bill's that. Always going broke. Bill's a beggar. He's a low cow. Bill's a beggar. If you think that someone who has to live day to day on tips and shit is funny oh so hilarious that this guy has stuff financially tight ha 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 no it's not fucking funny now shut up bill's a joke bill's a clown bill's this bill's that he's a low cow bill's a beggar Bagging. bill's a beggar bill's a joke bill's a clown always going bro bill's this Bill's that. He's a low cow. Bill's a beggar. He's a low cow. Bill's a beggar. That's not making. Yeah, I actually not. admitted this last not. year. I'll say it again. I actually do play some mobile games. I do. All right. The ones that I play are free to play or incredibly inexpensive. Like you spend a dollar here or there to make progress. This one's for all my baby girls. Got me that. Gotcha. gotcha. I love it. Gotcha. Got me that. And shit on it's WWE Champions time. I'm stupid. WWE game plays like Candy Crush, moving gems around, breaking colored gems. I love it. Again, it's pay to win. The more money you sink into it, the more characters you can summon, the higher chance you'll get the better characters, etc., etc. All right. Got me that. Gotcha. gotcha. I love it. Gotcha. Got me that. Gotcha. gotcha. Begging for fucking tips and shit on street. Gotcha. gotcha. the money dummies super cup that was a mobile game i played like five six years ago a lot for about a year i played it pretty hardcore all right even at that point that was before everything kind of fell apart with youtube and everything i was putting a little bit of money into it i was playing for the top cards i was playing the shit out of that game okay after about a year they launched what they called season two which reset all the cards in the game and made every all your progress essentially worthless and i said this game fucking sucks what a complete waste of time that this was all right
Today, some shithead hater will take something that I say out of context, and a ton of morons will watch that video. So within a day or two, that video will get like 5,000 views. While my daily gameplay videos each are getting, what, like 1,000 views, if that? <laughs> cuck life, 100%. Live the life of the cuck. Why not? YouTube doesn't care. Illegal, immoral, harmful, fucking toxic. This is insane. This is fucking toxic. Cuck life. It became a meme, right? The meme was Devil. a hate on me. What are the legitimate people? Or dark seed people fail. Hi, my name is. Speaking what? of, uh, speaking of toxic. My name is dark sea depth. Hi, my name is. What? My name is. Who? My name is. Oh. Oh. is Slim Dark Sea. What's up, Chad? Welcome to this train wreck. We're about to get started. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the show. Phil here, and this is the Level 1 Podcast, where we're having fun way, 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 <laughs> way down here on Level 1. He's roasting himself every day. <laughs> How you guys doing? I hope everyone's doing good. Um, something occurred to me this morning that I wanted to bring up before we got started. Um, I'm not one for anniversaries. I think we know this. Like, if you guys haven't noticed, I usually don't say, oh, it's the so-and-so anniversary of this thing that we did or that thing Oh, is or it the best streak ending? Um, Somebody got banned over this the other It just day. occurred to me watching the pre-stream artwork running that I am now... 14 years a content creator. Oh my god. It was September of 2008 when I did my <laughs> first piece of gameplay here on YouTube. It was over on my original Dark Side Phil channel. It was uh, Star Wars, The Force Unleashed, Star Destroyer gameplay sucks. Yes, I remember filming it. I was sitting in my bedroom in my parents' house. Yes, in the late 2000s. Sweating profusely. I was sick. I had a sore throat. He's still and I was sweating Star profusely. Wars, the 14 years Unleashed, later. And I was so Every upset day. about this Bacon piece of sweats. gameplay that was broken as shit. The controls did not work. It was actually known to be bugged. Uh, where the controls were the opposite of what the on-screen prompts were telling you to do. I was freaking out. I was very upset. And I filmed it and I uploaded it to the Dark Side Filled channel back then. Yeah, we jumped right into a cult. After that. Dude, you I make like 500 views per video. Come on, two, stop flexing about it. It space, doesn't make you look good. And stuff like that. And the rest is history, It was all right? for nothing. So, <clears throat> yeah. You own nothing, and you still beg for tips years, every day. A content creator, the reason this, this prompted me to think about that is because I have a piece of artwork on the pre-stream that says 13 years. And I was like, oh, actually, as of now, Oh, you official. need to make him a new one. years. We've hit that Please? anniversary. So, if anyone would like to... Update a piece of artwork yeah, yeah, saying, hey, ahead. 14 years <laughs> go you know, as a content creator. That would be cool. That would be cool. Um, but in addition, there's one other quick thing I want to shout out before we get started <laughs> with today's, or, or call out before we get started with today's podcast. Call out. Those of you who leave comments on my videos. All three of them. As you know, YouTube catches every comment and basically auto flags offensive ones, meaning those will never even show up on the video. There's you not even that. a chance. You do that. It's not but YouTube then, doing that. All those other comments go into a queue for me to review and approve. And I re approve the vast majority of them, even if they're critical of me, <clears throat> even if they're memes, even if they're jokes razzing me or whatever. I usually approve almost every comment I see. It's very rare if a comment got through YouTube's filter and it's insulting or something fucked up and stupid where I'll, I'll deny it or whatever, okay? But for the most part, they all get approved. But I've been noticing recently, a few people have been saying in the stream chat, oh, they left a comment. Um, but it's not there. Where is it? Why didn't it show up on the video? Um, there's a couple reasons why. The first reason could be that YouTube somehow auto hit it for some odd reason with the way that you worded it. It thought that it hit one of YouTube's common filters for spam or <clears throat> what they consider offensive. And I don't really control that. That's YouTube. Uh, and I apologize for that. If you anyone control left a comment, that. Just you never set up your up own anywhere, filters, that Bozo. Happen, you feel. control that. Um, Stop bullshitting. Sometimes YouTube errors. Oh, yeah, and YouTube errors. And does not show me the comments right away. And then all of a sudden, I'll be looking through today's new comments, and I'll populate, and it'll be like, oh, there's more comments. What do you mean? I'll click it. It'll be like, oh, here's a comment from two weeks ago. 
I'll look it up and be like, I never saw that comment. Why is that there? Like everything on YouTube, it doesn't work right. Okay, it just doesn't. Everything on YouTube doesn't work right because he can't work it out. You make those filters happen. Definitely, I think how we're doing it now works better than it used to be. You Free filter and open out comments everything. where everyone would just come and shit all over the videos so that they could get into you a brag this about play it. montage. Since that doesn't but happen anymore, but now it's anymore, YouTube. It's broken. The comments are a lot more meaningful and controlled, and you can have a conversation on the there. The comments about are game. meaningful. There's been a lot of meaningful conversations in my comments meaningful over the last year. So you can feel free to where? do that again and not have a bunch of bullshit be dropped on their heads. So I'd much rather have it the way that it is now uh, than the way it used to be. But I apologize for those of you who maybe leave productive comments and then they just vanish and no one, I never yeah, see them. Yeah, the romance them. cat example, com Bookworm comments. in the stream chat the this morning cat. said, you know, Phil, I left a comment uh, on the daily rap videos that you do. These are the summary videos I do at the end of the day to basically summarize everything that happened that day so people know what they missed if they want to go back and check something out. And you give it to people you, you and you beg in those videos. Intro for that. Like, you have an <laughs> intro for your Level 1 podcast. Why not do an intro for the Daily Rap and just play it and then do the Daily Rap? I agree. I think that would be nice. Of course, since it's a short video, I like to have a short intro. Maybe like 5, 10 seconds. Bro, and say, come you know, on. The daily Rap, recapping what happened today or blah, 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 right? Ooh, so that I think that would actually be really one. cool. Um, but... His comment didn't show up. What? Do you really think I would have denied his comment suggesting something like that? Of course not. So I, I, I likely I just never saw it. Um, there you have it. So I apologize to those who may be leaving comments and they never show up. It's it's a YouTube side thing. Uh, I'm sure they'll get it right within the next decade at some point. Like they usually drag their feet with this kind of stuff. Um, not surprising. Well, it took you 15 but years, and you still I can't really get it right, so I don't know. Would like to take a stab I don't know if you should blame them, dude. Doing a, a brief intro clip for the Daily Wrap, I'd be open to using one on the show, okay? Um, ooh, excuse me. And, of course, like I said, if anyone wants to make a new piece of artwork that says, you know, 14 years running and still going strong... So I could replace the 13 years running and still going strong. He's been saying 14 for years for like I would, I would a long it. time now. Okay. And Thank now you. it's officially 14 years. Okay. He's been saying 14 years for the last. My allergies are bothering me today. At I woke least up six months. With a runny nose. And I've been sneezing this morning. I already took my allergy pill. I hope that it's going to kick in. I apologize for that. Oh, I can't yes, wait I know. for it Here to we kick are, in. Almost in the fall. And allergies are still crazy. <laughs> the pollen is still pretty bad outside. Like, even though it hasn't been as warm this last week. Still bad out there. Like, like uh, the other day on my day off, the landscapers were here. It's like, oh, my God, here we go again. My eyes and everything. Like, Jesus, this never ends. Um, it's going to probably take another few weeks for us to actually go into fall mode here, meaning the plants start to die off, the trees start to wilt, and the leaves are going to start to fall off over the next month or two. And then finally, finally, this ordeal of the worst allergies I think I've ever had in my life will finally be over. But it sucks because I got the drip going. At the stupid I got the drip, drip going. going. My nose itches. <laughs> oh my god, that's such on. a good voice okay. clip. I got the drip going. <laughs> the post nasal drip, dude. He's dripped out. I'm sorry about that. Hopefully, I'll sound better. He's iced out. The podcast. Iced out wrist. Okay. Iced out neck. All right. Iced so, ladies and gents, welcome to the nasal show. Nasal canal. We got a lot to talk about today. Today is Friday, the 16th of September, 2022, and the game news rolls on. And what I mean by that is the Tokyo Game Show is continuing. And as it's continuing, we're getting more and more information about game releases and things that's pretty interesting and fun. Um, so I have a few game announcements and updates for you guys this morning, game news-wise, to talk about, which I'm excited for. It's positive stuff. Um, so that's cool, and that's going to actually help us kind of look at next year positively and say, wow, there's some really cool stuff coming in 2023. All yeah, right. a bunch of cool um, video games. It's going to get addition, 500 views playing. That's I would also sad, like to... 14 um, years. Talk about the schedule coming up. The schedule coming up has now become tumultuous. Here's what I mean by that. We went from, there's nothing going on in games, so I'm juggling a million downtime games, to, uh-oh, there's a million things going on in games, so now I don't really have time enough to play everything I want. To give you a perfect example, I played Multiverses last night, and as I'm adjourning, I'm like, wow, I actually have no clue when I'm playing this next. Even though I like the game and I want to play it again. You don't like the game. I'm juggling so much Come right on. now. You cried I actually so no much idea. about it. You know? Um, you know, he Splatoon hates yesterday, Splatoon. He despises playing, Splatoon. And I started thinking to myself, with all the stuff going on that people want to see me play, and I want to play, I honestly don't know if and when I'm even playing Splatoon 3 again. 
Oh yeah, it's done. We're gonna talk it's about done. that in a moment. But like he made a he made a Twitter thread about it, it about, about not liking hours. it. Uh, I want to kind of overall summarize my feelings about the game, um, and let you know what I think about the future of the play, the game being played on my stream. You hate I'm it. Be honest with you and guys, you don't like Japanese it's not doing people well too all. for some reason because um, they beat you at Street like, Fighter like 15 years ago. Kind of what I was afraid was going to happen if I bought the game, but luckily I didn't buy it. Someone donated it, thank God. Because if I had bought it and we were in the situation we were in now, I probably would be pretty upset. In this case, I'm not upset at all uh, because someone donated it. And thank you so much to the person who did donate it because the situation we're in with the game is kind of like, wow. Uh, shocking, to say the least, okay? I mean, but in we'll a way, that, right? everyone um, donates games to well, we him. we got so much else going on in games. Because he buys the you games know, with tip money. Out and I didn't so it's all it. basically donated. Um, and then in addition to that, we've got the uh, Call of Duty beta this weekend. Except that when you actually donate the game, you can't Sunday. spend that money Next on week, Champions. We've got the Xbox version. Uh, I got Ask the King on the agenda coming up. And then we got a surprise demo that dropped today that can only be played for about a week. So we're going to talk about all of this on the podcast today, okay? Okay. All right. Let us, um, let us get into it, shall we? I think we should get into it. Let's talk about the schedule for the rest of the week, heading into next week, and then let's talk about the fate of a couple games in play. Okay, games. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go get a drink. So, first of all, today, what are we doing? It's Friday. Schedule talk Today's is main depressing. Gameplay stream is the continuation of Earthbound, and man, am I glad that I started Earthbound when I did because I feel like if I didn't start it last week, we may not have ever started it. With all this stuff now going on in gaming, I'm glad we already got it started. So now there's motivation to keep going, even with all this new stuff going on around us. Okay. <clears throat> Today, we are starting off with Threed. This is the third major town and location in the game. Uh, much like each location, it's got a completely different plot line going on. And this is a pretty good one because we've got zombies. Yes, the undead have ravaged the town. And it's our job to figure out what in the holy hell is going on in Threed with these undead. Why are they running amok? How can we solve this problem? Okay, so that's the main focus of today's stream. I don't know if we'll even beat the whole plot line of three today or not. We'll see. But it's a great game. I've been absolutely loving Earthbound. You guys have been too in the two streams that I've done so far. You know, attendance has been fairly good for an old school RPG. And engagement has been absolutely outstanding. We're talking about the games. We're enjoying them together, right? And, yeah, support's been good too. Which I'm shocked. But it has been good. <clears throat> I hope we keep that pattern up today. Because I really like Earthbound, and I'm really enjoying doing this interactive style playthrough with you. Uh, so I hope we can keep up all those positives, okay? Um, so that's the main stream today. Just pumped. Very excited for more chill RPG. All right, fun. I'm back. I got some run. Tonight on the latest stream, it is Friday Night Fights, the Capcom Fighting Collection. Friday now, Night Smackdown. Along, Should have called it like <clears throat> that. The last few weeks and the last few times I've played this game have not been easy. And what I mean by that is it's very hard to get matches in this game now. Which sucks, because I love Old School Street Fighter. It's one of the, the things I love playing every week. It throws me back into a nostalgic feeling like I'm in arcades in the 1990s, playing amongst all the people in person, and it gives me those vibes again of having that, that, that desire for competition, right? <clears throat> so that's awesome, but I need to have people to play. And as you guys know, this collection came out in late June. At first, the first month, we were great. Second month started to get a little tight. And now we're heading into the third full month of this game being out. It's almost a nightmare to get matches. You just sit there waiting endlessly. And then finally one joins. You play. It's laggy as shit. You're done with that match. You say, oh, it's the same guy again. Well, I don't want to play him. I yeah, he uses he the lag. lag switch. Okay, let's search again. Oh, it's the same guy again. Well, I don't want to play They make it him. lag on well, purpose. it's the same guy again. You're like, what the fucking shit? Does no one own this game or play it? It's stupid. I never even played the game online on Xbox. I literally never played a person. I couldn't find anyone to play on <laughs> Xbox like ever. <clears throat> so today's stream is going to be super derailed by his quite allergies frankly, though situation it's going to be so bad uh, but there's some good it news already perhaps is. we have a, a, a sparkle of hope okay the Capcom Fighting Collection dropped in price this week permanently to $30 it were, well, originally was 40 okay so it dropped 10 bucks likely prompting some people to buy it. I'm not saying it was it was millions of people. Maybe 100 people bought it because it was a $10 price drop. So at least with 100 new players, hopefully we can get some matches tonight. And if he's going to destroy dudes that are playing it for really the first time. It's going to be so exciting. Right? 
Um, if we continue to have weeks on a Friday night when I try to play this or game, or they're all gonna lag, anyone, we can't keep playing it. Now the good news is last week it wasn't so bad. Last week we did find matches, so was, again maybe there is some hope. I guess we'll see. Um, but I hope people will play it and maybe we'll get some more comp tonight uh, for Friday night fights. Now worst case scenario, if Friday night fights continues to be bad and we just can't get any consistent competition. All right, then we're just going to switch it up and do something else, whether it becomes a different game entirely or whether it stays in the vein of fighting games and maybe we do multiverses, I don't know. But <clears throat> for me, the ideal state would be to keep Friday Night Fights Hey, what's up, chat? Uh, what's Street up, Fighter. everybody Sadly, who says hello? It all depends on I the say hello back. Right, well, let's see Sorry, it's Remember, not individual because otherwise I got to derail myself all the time, all the time and, conversation. and talk over it's this not guy. Like we don't keep each other occupied. Because this we discussion have, you know, we're having right now is super important. Regardless. It's incredibly it important that we know that, that, uh, that uh, he can't find time. opponents. I've been doing it for years and now it might go away because this collection tanked because Capcom botched the whole goddamn thing. What a shocker that Capcom would botch a whole goddamn thing when it comes to one of these retro collections, right? This totally hasn't happened before. <clears throat> okay. So, that's tonight. Tomorrow will be more Earthbound. Okay? And that's it. What? More Earthbound and that's it? What are you talking about? Well, what's your second stream, Phil? I don't have a second stream. Oh, Wait, what? No second stream? No. What, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, man? What the fuck? This was a stroke attack. What the fuck? Yeah, there's no second stream tomorrow. <laughs> I guess I'm oh, proud to be a loser. <laughs> so many people purchased private, this was embarrassing uh, react bro. videos for my patreon this was the drip made him do it it was the drip and here we are it's getting to his brain it's month, terminal at this point single one yet <laughs> never All going right? back so i needed to have a time to dedicate to do that um so i'm doing it tomorrow night okay and that means no stream and it sucks for those of you who like the fact that i'm here six days a week full time streaming. bro you got stream, plenty of time you. plus you're getting paid for that me and my it's like what 50 become, bucks per oh, video so in demand for these private react videos that you know now every week he's taking you know streams away to do them i don't want that to happen okay? you're getting paid for them they're paying you for them 50 bucks per shot the only stuff i'm doing is this private curated content for a small exclusive audience also Here's yeah bad thing. bad idea doing it on a saturday it's profitable when more people can it actually is. check it out how do you get a private video for those who don't know it's a 50 dollar pledge to my patreon if you go to patreon.com forward slash dark side Phil, there's a, a, a perk there, 50 bucks. It used to be a private Q&A video, but people have changed it up and said, rather than us asking questions, would you react to content? And I was like, why not? Because you do Q&A every single day. Q&A video, just play the content and react to it, right? The problem is time. If I'm going to watch a piece of content that's 25 minutes long, I need 25 minutes to make the video. And when you're adding all those up and there's four private videos, now I need two hours to do it. Where do I get the time, right? So that's why I have to take the stream off tomorrow. Okay. On your day off when you um, shit post a bunch of stuff? Come on, at least so, make some money on your day off. I'm not going to allow unlimited amount of The laziest fucking made. guy ever. Right now, this is the most I've ever had in one month, so I'm working on it tomorrow night. But every month, I'm going to do it by a month-by-month -month basis. If I end up getting too many requests, I can deny them and refund money and stuff like that if I need to. <laughs> what? Um, I also don't you're going to deny? You, you're literally requests. a beggar. Say, and we're going to deny people now. Video made of me we're going to give something. refunds. Are you fucking serious? At darksidephil.hotmail.com and run it by me. And I'll tell you if it's something I'm interested in doing. If it ends up being something toxic or stupid or dumb, I'm not going to do it. You'll you know react I mean? to like, drama to videos, though. They're toxic. I want to react to something that maybe would be interesting. He's going to refund money. He was fucking second. begging every day, and now he's going to refund one money. Day, all I did was private videos. Just think about this. So let's say I turn off, I started recording private videos at 11 o'clock. Okay. So they cost 11, $50 11, 30, 12, per pop. 12, 30, it's way one, worth it. It's say, worth it, DSP. 230, 330. In one oh my day, god, everything is hard for him. How is it possible stream, everything to be this hard? private videos, and if they're $50 each, that's $450. Yes, that's in great. In one stream session. Yes. So it's profitable. And he's already this counting this money that, is, that hasn't even happened that's yet. That's not who I want to be. I what? don't want to be Mr. Private React. What? You know what <laughs> I'm saying? My god, man. Um, I love doing these interactive streams with all the of you. The choosing beggar. The choosing beggar. I putting out public playthroughs that people can watch and follow and it, you know people tell me every day he would rather guilt so trip people 
then take money from young. people willing someone to give it to him someone said it this morning for, for doing some work was going on in their life and they were happy that i was going to be playing earthbound today because it was going to occupy them and cheer them up that's what i'm here for you know i feel like for 14 years i've been a staple in certain people's lives where that's the kind of guy i am i'm mr consistent right? mr consistent i don't want to be telling you oh by the way now because it's profitable i'm not going to be streaming anymore i'm just gonna make private videos all day that's not gonna happen okay just so bro. you know <clears throat> um bro get a fucking job so at this point go fuck yourself that dark side phil is now going to become private video get film. a real fucking that's, job that's not me all right um so anyway yeah i i can't stream tomorrow night um Likely, if this if this pattern keeps up month to month, there may be one or two streams a month I can't stream, which I feel is fair if it's only one or two. If it gets more than that and it gets exorbitant, then we're going to probably put a curtail on that. I'm not. Gonna this is a good thing for right. you, DSP. It's a okay. good thing. You barely get to do anything, wow, and you make 50 bucks. Disgusting. I'm very it, sorry it is that. absolutely disgusting. Stop doing okay. it then. Uh, then on Sunday, I'm back in full capacity. All right, for the second half of my streaming week. And on Sunday, we've got something everyone's excited to see me play. Yes, the open beta for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Oh, no. The Part shills 2, are already playing it. People that pre-ordered it are Call already Duty, Modern playing Warfare it. Modern Warfare 2 2022? Like, what do we call it? Because there's already a Modern Warfare 2. And Modern Warfare 2 was a game that back in the day... The I new was Call of Duty. That's how you call it. it. The new Call of Duty. my coverage of it. And I became known... As a guy playing that game on what? the internet, even no, though you're I wasn't not. a pro, people absolutely loved it whenever I played Modern Warfare 2. No, that's, that a, where the ice that's a very rewriting history. Montage and song came from. Okay? So. He became the guy associated Modern with Modern 2, Warfare. 2? Modern Warfare 2 <laughs> to the power of 2? No, the Modern new Warfare Call of 22? Duty, DSP. The new Call of Duty. I don't know what you call it? The new Call of Duty. But anyway, the open beta for PS5 starts to, uh, Sunday. And I'll be playing it as the mainstream on Sunday, okay? Um, and we're going to see what it's like. I want to play it at least twice. I want to give it at least two major streams of playtime to give it a fair shot and see if it's something that I'm going to be interested in and want to buy, all right? So Sunday's mainstream, the Modern Warfare 2 beta stream. Join me <clears throat> if you can. Hopefully, it'll be a good time, all right? Uh, Sunday night. He's Sunday definitely going to buy it. Bassmaster Fishing 2022. Or the Last campaign, week was a really at least. great stream because we found... At a certain river, there's all different fish we had never caught before. I might likely go right back to that river this week because I really enjoyed catching the different variety of fish to see what more we can catch. And hopefully this week, you know, not only will we have interactive fun, but maybe we'll hit the goal. We'll be able to add a new fishing lure to the hat and all of that. What about the right, streak, we'll though? See. No so more streaks. For that. It's a good chill time every Sunday night. No more then streaks. Then on Monday, <clears throat> yes, I'm going to do more Modern Warfare 2 to 22 beta. The so new Call of Sunday, Duty. Sunday, Monday, Modern Warfare 2 beta for me. Okay, Monday night, Disney Dreamlight Valley returns after checking it out last week and you guys absolutely loving it. I cannot wait to play it again. It's actually really good. It's like Animal Crossing with an interesting story, which is what was kind of missing from Animal Crossing, you know? I mean, Animal Crossing had charm. Animal Crossing was addictive, but let's be honest. Somebody is definitely paying day, him behind the scenes like, to play this Animal game. Animal Crossing today? Ah, uh, nothing. And that's pretty accurate. At least in Disney Dreamlight Valley, we actually have developments every time. Oh, today, you know, I, I cleaned up a part of the village and, I, you know, one of the villagers get, regained their memory. Now I have the ability to buy and sell this particular kind of good and craft this item. Then we traveled to an island and we ran into Moana and we actually did some missions for Moana and Maui and now Moana is going to be moving into the village. Whoa. Whoa. That's exciting. That's right? exciting. That's really Moana and is moving I'm, into I'm, the I'm Animal Crossing village. Long. The plot of the game this is what we get excited about nowadays, Moana. Right now, the game actually is pretty interesting. Um, so let's see what happens Monday night with more Disney Dreamlight Valley, okay? <clears throat> then on Tuesday, okay, it will be... Well, here's the thing. I think I'm going to do Earthbound on Tuesday, because now I'm playing it today, and I'll play it again on, on tomorrow, and then again on Tuesday. We'll get some good progress in Earthbound this week. And then Tuesday night's up in the air... On Tuesday night, we could do more Disney Dreamlight Valley, or we could do a second session this week of Multiverses. I might leave it up to you guys, or I might just play it by ear and see how people feel after having played Disney Dreamlight Monday night and make the judgment call, all right? But you may notice something in the schedule for the rest of the week. I didn't mention Splatoon 3 at all. Is it dead? Okay? Is now, dead. I'm off on Rest Wednesday. in peace. When I come back on Thursday, it's Ask the King. Ask the King is finally coming up. If you have it's not terrible. posted up your questions yet, 
Are you I excited for Ask the King? I strongly urge you to do so. Type in exclamation point Ask the King in the stream chat. The link pops up. Post up on that thread on dspgaming.com to, to get a very strong chance your question, your question will be answered on the show. Don't go now, to dspgaming.com. You are a channel member, all 450 of you. You have priority to get your question answered on the show. In fact, the last two episodes of Ask the King that I did this year have actually had the vast majority of questions been from members. So right now, live, live, I'm going to post up a on poll? my forums, excuse me, oh my on God. my channel page, on the community tab, a private thread for members only. What is that thread? All channel members. You mean a community post? Hello? Please, hello, members. Do we have to do this on the podcast? A thing that people are supposed Please to listen to and be entertained by? Here Could you not do it any other time? Of no, we got to do it on company time, on Burnell Q&A production show, time. Ask the King, scheduled for Thursday. We can't do it like normal people when Remember, he's not live. He has to do it on, on the business time while he's at work so he can fuck around more. Second. Yeah. Uh, hello, everyone, members. We are doing a strongly, strongly increased, increased chance. chance. To have their questions. What does what does a strongly increased chance even mean? You get fucking priority. Just say priority. Support and good luck, clown. Here you go. Okay. So boom, I just posted it. It's a post only for members on the tab, the community tab of DSP Gaming on the main channel page. If you're a member, please post up your questions there, and I will go directly to that first when selecting questions for Ask the King this coming Thursday, okay? <clears throat> okay. So that will be Thursday's main stream, and then probably Thursday night will be Multiverses, oh my God. I'm thinking. And today he's going to do a short okay? summarizing all of this, the weekend. talking about there's it again. There's a million things going on this week out of nowhere, all right? Like what? Actually, like what? Yes, now members can, can submit those forum questions, Daki. I just said, type exclamation point, ask the king in the chat. It'll bring up the link to do so. Okay. So here's what's going on. Number one, Earthbound. So obviously I want to play Earthbound next week, right? Number two, Hellsinger. And I don't know if I want to play it or not. I'm waiting to hear back from people to say if it's good or not, or if you guys like it, if you think it's, it's a good play or not. It's good. All right, it's on Game play Pass. It. I can play it whenever it's I want. It's good. No rush. <clears throat> Number three, Splatfest in Splatoon 3. There is a special event going on next week called Splatfest. Splatfest is when they do a special event where it's like something versus something else. Like they'll do ketchup versus mustard, apples versus oranges, hot dogs versus pretzels. Whoa. I know that's a weird one. But they'll do stuff like that. And then you choose a side and you play for that side. And during that event, which lasts a few days, there's limited time stuff going on in the game that earns you rewards and other kinds of stuff. So it's kind of an interesting thing that they do from time to time in Splatoon. And in Splatoon 3, this is the first one they're doing. I guess they're doing it It's next week. And I think it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and next week. So if I was going to do that, all right. Oh, here you go. Expand Donks is the topic is what would you bring to a deserted island? Gear, grub, or fun? All maps are remixed and be recolorized. And there you go. And there's special, special rewards and things divvied out during these events. So if I was going to play Splatoon 3 again, that would be the time that I should do it. At the very same time, there's a limited time demo right now going on. And that demo is for Wo, is it Wo Long. This is the new game coming out from uh, Bandai Tecmo. No, not Bandai. It's Tecmo Koe, right? So I guess it's the makers it's of... Koei Tecmo, but that's um, all right. I guess it's kind of like a Dark Souls-esque game, but not really. It's hard to tell what it is, okay? It's hard to I tell because like he didn't Warriors he didn't bother Ninja, doing any research it's about to be this. Like against monsters, so it's supposed to be like Dark Souls. I'm not exactly sure, but the demo literally just came out today, and it's playable until next weekend. All right. Um, <clears throat> it's like so, Dark Souls, you guys. When do I play it? I don't know. It's only available till next weekend. I'm already booked through Thursday. I'm booked right? through Thursday. I'm booked. Okay. Oh, but guess what? <laughs> yeah, well, how many times has he said this before? This is the first time I hear him say, I'm booked through Thursday. He's role-playing as a dude who actually has like a, an actual schedule. Guess what else is next week? <laughs> I'm fucking booked, you guys. The version of the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 demo. And like I told you guys, I absolutely want to play it at least once on Xbox because I want to directly compare the PS5 
and the Xbox Series X versions so that I can see which I feel is performing better, which controls better on which controller, because I'll have two completely different styles of controller to play it on. Because if I'm going to buy the game, I might want Are you to serious? choose the best version based on the beta performance, okay? So just think about this. We went from, <laughs> oh man, there's literally nothing going on, so Phil's playing oh my Saints God. Row 1 and all this downtime shit, to in one week, oh, what's going on? That's all limited time that Phil needs to do this week. Well, there's Splatfest and Splatoon 3. There's a limited time demo for this Wo Long game. There's a limited time beta for Call of Duty, and it's all at once. So what does Phil play? You can actually Shit. play I, I don't have the more answer. than one game a stream. I actually don't know what to do next weekend. I don't know I what to do. I could pick and choose and do one each day. I could do, you know what I mean? Like, I have no idea. All right? I, I, we have to think about this. The good news is we have some time to think about this. Okay? We definitely do. Um, but let's talk about it over the course of the week when we're already booked with other stuff and determine what you guys want to see next week. <laughs> we're booked it's again. All limited time. I wish I could say, oh, we'll do this one then and then wait for later. No, they this all like dude is amazing, bro. So if I don't play them now, I don't play them at all. The right? extent he's going to go to make himself look like an actual businessman is just insane. Just so he can like actually proceed to not do any business. Usually I was sold on it. What is that? For nine hours. I do have another thing to say in regards to Splatoon 3, and what I'd like to do is take a small segment here to give you my thoughts Oh, about the, the bitching game. segment. Like the complaining segment. And kind of give a little bit of a... He made a whole thread on, on Twitter right. justifying why he so wants Splatoon to drop 3, it. First of all, originally I was sold on it, and then when I started to hear that the game was very similar to the previous games, I was not necessarily sold on it. But then it was like, I'm going to skip it anyway because I couldn't even afford it a couple weeks ago. Then a fan stepped up and donated it, and that made it an easy determination that I would play it. Okay, in the last week since Splatoon 3 came out, because it has been a week now, it was actually Friday last week when it came out, <clears throat> um, I played it three times. So that's nine hours of gameplay, all right? In the nine hours of gameplay, I've re-educated re, uh, re myself on the Splatoon universe. No, right? you didn't. You're still more, terrible. I got back into the gameplay of Turf War, where it's all about covering the maximum amount of space of the map with your color paint on, for your team. Where it's not really about kills, but it's more about teamwork and, 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 and coverage, right? Then I played one round of the Horde mode against the Salmon. It was incredibly boring, I'm not going to lie. It was pretty repetitive and exactly what you would expect from a Horde mode. Similar to like Plants vs. Zombies that I played before. It didn't seem very innovative. It just said like it was something in there to say that there's another game mode in there. Great. So I played it once. I was like, okay, maybe if I was teaming up with friends, I would care. It doesn't seem like something you're going to care about just randomly playing. So then after playing... Splatoon 3, two different streams, unlocking various weapons, customizables for my character, and basically getting the hang of it, then I unlocked Ranked Play. And I played this yesterday, and here's what I determined about Ranked Play. That you're terrible. First of all, the matchmaking is atrociously stupid. Oh, it yeah, right. It doesn't match you against people of your own rank. Of it just course. matches you against anyone, because so few people are playing Ranked Play. This leads to worse connections, and leads to you getting overplayed almost every time. They're just much better than you, exactly DSP. People who so play ranked in games the first hour play it because play they're competitive. Was this happening to me? Yeah, those cheeks. That was his cheeks. Wait, hold up. I just want to learn how to play. You don't get to learn how to play in ranked, DSP. You go to play ranked to be competitive and rank high. That's why you go play ranked. Go play casual if you want to learn how to play. Which should never happen. In ranked gameplay, the whole point is it should put you into matches with people of your skill level. That's the point of having rank points. It's not just a arbitrary leveling system. It's supposed to be if you're better, you play better opponents. If you're worse, you play worse opponents as you learn. But Splatoon 3 says, fuck all that. Play anyone, get destroyed. Play anyone. So literally for an hour, I don't even understand the game mode or what we're doing, and it's just completely dominated by people who know what they're doing. Go play they're casual with ground. other they're people. Completely Come on, everyone who doesn't know what the hell's going on. It's a joke. It's basically it's Nintendo once again being Nintendo. Oh, Nintendo's they fault. They don't have to learn Those from pesky any of Japanese people or any competition. We'll just do whatever we want because we're Nintendo and we get a pass. So when we make ranked play, we don't have to make it actually match against people of your skill level. Who cares? Well, I care. I'm someone who wants to learn your game. You don't get so to I learn stuff on rank. An hour and a half yesterday you, you, playing rank. That's play, not how it works. What the fuck is going on? When I finally learned Go what I was learn doing, casual. I started winning. 
and then now I'm dominating, right? Now oh, me yeah, and my yeah, team yeah. Take the high ground, throw the paint over the area, do this, do that. <laughs> now I'm dominating. Wow, okay? that's some gaslighting well, going thing on. That I noticed after playing about three hours of ranked play yesterday. I'm dominating. Is that you don't really level up doing it. So I played ranked play the entire stream, okay? I gained one level. Now think about this. Previously, in the other two streams that I had done, six hours of gameplay, I hit level 10. In three hours of gameplay yesterday, I gained one level. Okay. In ranked play. But ranked is so you can level up so your ranked rank. Ranked is what you're aspiring to play. You have to unlock it. You have to get good to win at it. But then you get the least rewards from it. How the hell does that work? The answer is it doesn't. The system is flawed. They built ranked play in a really weird way that it doesn't really make sense. Bro, everything is, okay? is broken when he's bad at it. Everything is broken. Against, it doesn't care when he's bad at points. YouTube, YouTube is and broken. you get almost nothing for it. So why am I doing it? Right? I don't get it. I, I'm lost, okay? So you might say, well, all right, Phil, well, then just play the other game modes. W what other game modes? That's it. That's Splatoon 3. It's Turf War, the Horde mode called Salmon Run, and Ranked Play. That's the whole game. Oh, wait, but there's an offline campaign. You're absolutely correct. Splatoon 3 has a single-player offline campaign. People are telling me it's around 10 to 12 hours long. Okay, so By there the way, is more stuff. It has nothing to do with the other game. It's separate. It's a storyline. And playing it, all the, the only tie-in it has to the multiplayer is that you earn experience booster Bro, items. Bro, that's why it's a fucking single player. What the fuck, the man? The what? Player. What? What the fuck? So we start from saying there isn't anything else to do other than the multiplayer and then he brings up there is a single player that is a standalone single player campaign and then he says but the single player is not related to the multiplayer bro that's exactly what the fuck it's about holy shit man outside of that is like is he doing this on purpose or he's just that stupid the single player is actually completely set it's like two separate games people are telling me it plays different unique properties that's all well and good <clears throat> Okay, so you but should check anyone, it out. Right now, I'm, I'm being honest now. If you're watching this stream live, or if you're watching this podcast on demand after the fact, and you purchased Splatoon 3, can you honestly raise your hand right now and say, I bought Splatoon 3 to play a campaign? What? No, it's like Call of Duty. Oh my nice fucking God, it. man. Of course you'll play it because it's part of the package, but why did you get Splatoon 3? For the addictive multiplayer. So it's nice that it's there. But you did play the multiplayer already, though. That's really gonna be you played it. it. And I'll be honest. If I'm playing Splatoon 3, and I'm doing the multiplayer, which is supposed to be the main event feature, the addictive part of the game that everyone likes, and on my stream, my viewers are tanking, and I can't even get 300 viewers for oh, a the views. game. It's the views. And I'm watching the videos on my YouTube channel, DSP Gaming. <laughs> and We're this. coping over views. Splatoon 3. Get a load of this. Is the lowest viewed series <laughs> I have ever put out on DSP Gaming. Get used to it, you stupid bitch. That's how it's gonna be from now on. You're gonna go on fucking DSP Gaming and you're gonna see a bunch of fucking videos with 500 views after five days. This is your life now. Get used to it. Look at this, 18 hours ago, 252. I wonder why, because you fucking trash at the game. The only way he can get any amount of views is to upload shitty, a minute long shorts. That's the only way. This is your life now. Get used to it. That is not an exaggeration. Those videos from yesterday have almost 24 hours on them already. One of them has not even hit 200 views. Okay? And it's not like, oh, well, Phil sucks. No, I'm learning the game. I'm actively enjoying it. I'm not just sitting there crapping on you the game. You suck. You definitely it suck. A fair shot. I'm trying to learn the game. And I think yesterday I unlocked that what try bucket. What a pathetic bucket. cope. Bucket. What a I'm pathetic cope. The game itself, all right, <laughs> has just what a not been cope. anything innovative, eye-catching, and quite frankly, very interesting. I'm just going to be honest. Then drop it. Not. Drop it. Like every other game I'm Stop playing. Stop crying and drop it. Earthbound. An RPG from the mid 90s is more attractive to my viewing audience than Splatoon 3. Okay? Now, it very well could just be that my viewing audience doesn't really care about this style of game. And that's fine. I get that. But typically, when I play a game, people will at least give it a look. 
This game, after three <laughs> sessions, no one's caring about Get it. fucked. It's Get like, fucked and cry. Out of all Get the things I'm and playing, it's actually the least interest of any game I've ever played. I'm not exaggerating that. It's getting the least attention of any cry. game in 14 cry. years that I've played. Cry. Less people cry care more. about the Cry the more. The delicious gout-ridden tears. Delicious salty tears. And delicious salty copes. Over 200 fucking views. Get a load yeah, of this. Yeah, it's the best-selling game in Japan. 3.45 million copies sold in three garbage, days. And garbage, garbage. Japan is playing it nonstop. Garbage. If this doesn't show a disconnect between different cultures and gaming communities, you gotta disconnect with reality, bozo. You gotta disconnect with reality. On the world, I don't know what else would. You know what I'm saying? Now is Japan's like, fault. Damn. Japan's That's fault. That's crazy, right? That, you know, thousands of people come to DSP Gaming a day. To watch my content, okay? <laughs> and this is pathetic cope again. Pathetic cope. Thousands of people, <laughs> 200 couldn't be bothered to watch the videos because they just don't care. All right? Now, you might say, well, why do you think this is? I'll tell you why. I know exactly why. Because Splatoon 3 is the same game as fucking Splatoon 1 and Splatoon 2. They put zero <laughs> effort into innovation. Zero. He's so Here's mad. Here's what they did. He's so oh, mad because he doesn't get views. And now we're crossing the hands. Splatoon in a while. Crossing the hands, Mr. Insecure. Well, everyone bought the last two. So what should we do? Should we actually innovate and change the game up and make it different? Nah, let's just give them the same game a third time, slap a new name on it, update the graphics. Okay. <laughs> well, two and three. Get fucked. What a great Four segment. Million seller. It's the same fucking game. Now, I'm not saying that's bad. Call of Duty doesn't... Oh, you just, you just said it sold a lot. Year, and they're one of the, if not the, highest selling game. Okay. Right? Does that mean that it's acceptable? Apparently to everybody else but you, because you look at stupid fucking views. And look at this smug-ass fucking face, by the way. This is the face of somebody that gets 200 views a video now and cries about it. After 14 years, this is the face he gives you. This is the face you get. The smugness. It's your point of view, right? For me, playing Splatoon 3, I absolutely would have loved innovation. Give me new game modes. Give me new innovative things to do. It's literally the same shit. <laughs> cry okay. some more. Please and cry some more. Again, I hate to say it. Fill up my cup they, with tears. They even redid their shortcomings from the first game seven years ago. Oh, you can only play certain maps at certain times. Why? You now have enough <laughs> maps in the game to warrant a full retail purchase. You do. Like, the game has enough maps that they could just be rotating the maps. There's absolutely no reason to only do two maps in a two hour period. Just We just want to because we're Nintendo. Well, you can't just do that. You have to justify your actions like the rest of the world. You're Didn't you just say that there is a separate standalone single player campaign that is completely different from the multiplayer? You just fucking said that. You just said it and you haven't played it, but we're ranting about it. What a fucking joke. You're not better than everyone else as a game developer, you're in competition. But Nintendo, again, they live in this weird alternate universe where they think they're not in competition with anyone. We can do weird shit however we want and like it or don't. And the thing is, the Japanese reinforce that. When they buy Splatoon 3, four the million Japanese fall a week. The Japanese they reinforce fault. that, oh, we don't have to improve <laughs> formula. What if they fucking like the game, man? What if they like the game? What if they like it and they have a ton of fucking fun? But if Phil is not having fun, it's a big problem. You, you, you will buy the same game a third time. You will put up with our ridiculous design choices because we're Nintendo. If you buy that stuff, you support the bad action, right? You do. So, you know, that's no, there's no surprise that they're, ne they're not doing anything different, okay? So, and again, I'm not saying Call of Duty is is good too or bad too because that's what someone did on, on the comments last night uh you know i'm talking about splatoon 3 yesterday playing it and someone leaves a comment oh but you're okay with call of duty every year no i'm not no i'm not i criticize call of duty literally every year i play it saying it's shit the online play is terrible they never improve it they really need to put effort into the game and they never do and then last year i skipped call of duty because i said they put no effort into this i'm not even buying it this year what was it okay? last year call was it vanguard that shit was ass leader. These game of course you're gonna no skip it. You can't even pay games your now. bills. You're not buying joke. trash and games. If you buy it in four million copies in a week, all it's gonna do is make them pump out more shit. That's the same shit. They're never gonna innovate. Oh, what you the fuck? The bad action. What the fuck? You see? So, why do I think 
this game is not catching on on my channel. Because why do people really tune into DSP gaming? For right? garbage. There's, there's very Look at this. Reasons. People fucking Number like the one, game, man. People, people like the game. Look at all these the good game. reviews. That's a big reason. Number two, people want to relax with me and have a chill and fun time with me. Insert. No, get fucked. This is because you're washed up and nobody actually gives a fuck about your gameplay. What people care about is talking shit to you about stupid podcast topics like this. That's what people actually care about. Because if you look at the fucking views and go pick some random game from like two weeks ago in some, some dumb shit. Look at this. Destroy all humans. 600 views. 11 days. 496 views. 11 days. What do we got here? Almost 1,000 views. 12 days. For fucking the pizza party segment. Come on, man. Stop deluding yourself. Certain games, okay? And number three, there's people who are just along for the ride no matter what I play. Um, but but maybe there's a group of people who... The delusion of this man is truly scary. Yeah, absolutely so terrifying, so man. How how actually well, detached from reality he is. Because now he's making some stupid fucking excuses. Why he's having the lowest views he's ever got on this channel. After bragging about being a content creator for 14 years. And now we're actually being deluded in real time. He's pignotizing himself in real time. Well, there's nothing new about the game. It's literally Splatoon 1 again. You saw me play that seven years ago. You can still watch the videos if you want. Yeah, they probably have a lot more views. It's definitely not chill fun. It's not chill fun. I play it. I can't chill. Because you're trash. Why do you play ranked then? Play casual, you fucking clown. Playing it online, the ranked yesterday definitely revealed some of the shortcomings of the net code and stuff. Um, I guess for some, if you wanted to see me rage, I will rage a bit at it. But even then, I don't necessarily know if that's really going to succeed for that reason because. I'm enjoy, you know, I'm overall learning and enjoying getting better. Like, sure, I raged at the first hour of ranked yesterday. Then I learned it and started winning, and now the rage went away. You or see? maybe they they ranked you, uh, they matched you up with a bunch of scrubs because you lost too much. That's what happens so when you lose a bunch on ranked. I don't know uh, if this game fits into any of the categories of what people come to my channel to see. You know what Chill I'm saying? Streams, I think it might be like the begging oddity schemes. where it's absolutely fine if you like <laughs> begging it, schemes and delusion. Like, I get it. That's what I, this stream I actually, is. Uh, I, I understand the addictive nature of it and the fun level to oh, it. Oh, you, you understand if, the addictive nature of a lot of stuff, DSP. You're that guy. If you have friends who play it as well, probably adds to that. You know, you want to play Yeah, you have friends, no friends, so yeah. Like I get all that. <clears throat> I'm not going to crap on Splatoon 3 and say it's a bad game. It's definitely not. It's absolutely hey, big ups, uh, Dead Exo, and um, was it before that? I forgot to give you a shout out. Japanese game of all time. Uh, no, Zombies, big ups for the but super that chats, mean dude. That people don't buy hype because they're. I mean, I hate to say it, suckers born every minute. Oh yeah, the whole suckers. Is hyping it up. Everyone's oh gonna yeah. Buy it and be the whole country is hyping it up. The whole country. It's a campaign in Japan to to prop up Splatoon, even though they secretly know it's bad, but they're like, oh, we need to sell it. We are greedy Japanese people. This thing, just like Call of Duty here. We're not immune to that. We're just as stupid. We buy crap here too. So don't think that I'm... Oh, I'm trying to say that the Japanese are dumb. We're just no. stupid. Gamers as a whole buy into these fads and buy into the <laughs> hype. And the next thing you know, you got these arbitrary yearly annual releases that really don't have much to them, yet they're the big, biggest sellers, right? So we're just as guilty, if not more guilty, having an annual Call of Duty come out. So please don't think that I'm trying to say, oh, that culture is wrong. That's completely false. I think gamers as a whole just sadly buy into this shit because hype is very powerful. And this is, by the way, why he gets low views. This whole, this entire segment is him justifying getting low views on Splatoon. Him justifying getting, what, 300 views a video on like 12 hours ago. This is what he's trying to justify. Look at this, 340, 252, 159. This is this is what it's all about. Because if these videos made a thousand views, he would be fucking smiling and cheerful. Okay. But now um, he's crying. If you like Splatoon 3, great. I do too. I actually, I have enjoyed playing it. But I'm not just me playing games for me. I'm someone who's a streamer and a content creator. And I have to find things that's going to captivate my audience. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I hate to say it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll lean back at least if you're going to clear his throat. It, Come on. I just so don't unprofessional. think it's for my audience. Not for I'm his audience. Honest. When I'm playing this game and I'm releasing three hours of gameplay in chunks and the three hours of gameplay gets 170 views in 24 hours, that tells me no one cares about Splatoon on my channel. <laughs> Besides maybe me and the few people who Get have fucked. actually been helpful 
in the stream chat. And I want to say thanks to people like Expand Dong, Big Papa Phil, who've been trying to help me with it and understand it. How? And obviously, you guys like it. Oh, hand holding. Okay, I get Remember it. Remember, guys, Phil changed over the years, Lamo. Bro, the only thing he changed is some of his T-shirts, and this T-shirt definitely not one of them. And that's cool. And I'm again happy. I'm happy for you that you like the game. I do too. I Big actually ups, like uh, it. My channel and if it had for caught the super on chat. More, I probably would be playing it more, but. It's not catching on here on DSP Gaming. It's been a week. I gave it three chances, <laughs> and it seems like all hype has died out. And it's funny because I've still got people saying, well, you're going to play the single player? Am I going to play the single player? The meat of the game that people should want to see is getting 170 views. Now you want me to play the single player. <laughs> this is so <laughs> really? good, man. Inject this into my veins so I can OD uh, with the... I'm not muted, bro. Who said I'm muted? <clears throat> I'm not muted. So... Right now, inject this into my veins so I can uh, down it with uh, with rum. The only reason I would probably even try Splatoon three would be to do Splatfest next weekend. All right, Splatfest. maybe I'll give it like one more shot during Splatfest to see what a Splatfest is like. <laughs> Splatfest. So I can at least say, okay, I understand it. I know what it is. <laughs> Such a great um, name. And be a part of that for one one stream or whatever, you know. But I do not foresee me putting this into the rotation regularly moving forward when no one cares about it. <clears throat> Okay, so there you go. Hulk's Vacation says, it's true. I lived in Japan for a couple years during Modern Warfare 2 release. No one ever talked about the game. The shelves were full of the game. No one bought it. I told you. It's different. Different cultures like different things. Over there, it's just a different world. And bro, that's okay. Bro, that's fun. why is he acting like nobody in the West is buying this game? What is this fucking delusional cope? Where is this information coming from? Where, what... Data is this based on? Guess what? He just made it up. That's what it's based on. It's different. Like I say all the time, it's different. No, I don't have folks. Splatoon three. I, I don't play uh, Nintendo game. stuff. But I'm not like, shit talking like it I either. Like, you're an asshole, right? And I would hate on you and I would shit on you and I would say stupid, offensive things. I'm a much more open-minded guy now, and I understand everyone likes different stuff. You're not open-minded like though. Splatoon three, good for you. I actually do. If you don't like it, I also get. Bro, that. you can't do this. You can't have a segment shitting on a bunch of people specifically Japanese, for hyping up a game that is quote-unquote not good enough or not different enough, and then say, you know what? All of this is okay, man. I don't, I don't shit on anybody. If you like this, you can go buy it and have fun. That's, that's not how it works. Right? I need to find what works for my... Because job. there's assholes like me and people in my chat who they're not assholes. They're very nice. I'm just the asshole that are going to actually pay attention to what you say and then are going to bring up, hey, Phil, five minutes ago, you were calling out an entire country for buying a game that is not up to par. My audience. I'll tell you, it's, this is not working. Three streams of this game, and I can't get more uh, 300 people for a hot new release. And right? views. I can't get over 100, 200 people to watch the videos. And the views. No one cares about this. And tips, because right? yesterday so, had low, low tips so, as well. <clears throat> yesterday was a disaster day. Like I said... I think I will likely uh, maybe try it out once the next weekend for this Splatfest, and that might be it for Splatoon 3 for me. And quite frankly, I don't think I missed anything because I've seen it all already. In three streams, I've seen all the online play the game has to offer. Yeah, that's a full $60 release in 2022. Three, three sessions, you've seen it over the whole game. <sighs> okay. Anyway, um... So that's the schedule roughly for the week. What we need to determine is next weekend what I'm going to be doing. Will it be Splatoon? Okay, I can I can actually skip also, through this. Do it. So anything else is game. Okay. The King did recently. I... Now. What's next? One suggestion I got was Pro Jared's documentary that apparently. Oh, June oh King what the fuck, man? Pro Jared. Come on, bro. Recently, I I haven't seen it. Get fucked with this. Get fucked with this. Come on. Pro Jared documentary. Quite frankly, I have no idea what even went down there. But you shit on him. You shat on him. When the things went down and he got exposed and he got canceled, you jumped on it. You jumped on it. And now you don't know what you're talking about, right? But you ran your fucking mouth on Twitter. Yes, I was part of two social media posts. Yes, that I was a part of two social media posts. The way he fucking says it. That trended hugely He's acting during as if he bought the game. He got it for free, right? Yeah, somebody bought it for him. That thing exploding on the internet. But outside of that, I literally never even looked into the situation to figure out what was going on with the guy. I, I you know, I really have no clue. I have no Besides clue. Somebody... Why did you shit on him, though, when you have no clue? 
embarrassing photos that everyone when has. people shit on you and they have no clue you want them taken down right you want them to have no right to to have anything to say about you right One they should they should watch all your streams and all your stupid podcasts so they can be informed so they can have an opinion on you but you can go shit on somebody that's getting canceled or whatever go shit on somebody for any reason and that's okay even if you don't know anything that's happening sounds good by accident because i didn't want to see them and it was disgusting but outside of that that's true though i didn't want to see that guy's cock it was terrible i wish i didn't and also he was dressed up as sailor moon which I'll, i will never unsee um maybe that would be a good one i don't know i'm looking for suggestions barrel shot says the keemstar documentary by june the king keemstar documentary you see you see what is the uh what is uh, the um the running theme along these things huh he wants to watch documentaries on people that he hates so he can be like oh you see he's a fucking piece of shit he's a fucking asshole you see i was right when i was shitting on him i've never seen that i don't know you know i don't know what that entails that could oh, be i don't know anything dude We've i don't know anything at any point but i'm gonna shit on everybody are in multiple other things i've already called, yeah you right? called him a terrible person right you called him what was it the devil on youtube he had blood money right you call them all this shit, but now we don't know anything. <clears throat> we don't know anything. At least when you're gonna fucking beef with somebody, actually just step up and actually just beef with them. And not just throw uh, pot shots and, and sneak disses. Okay. <laughs> but now we need a boost in views to talk about drama, because the trolls are gonna tune in. And some of them are gonna end up on his stream. And some of them are gonna send him a super chat, so that's what we want. No, 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 no. Listen, LTG, and I mean this too, LTG ha was, has been nothing but like a nice guy and a gentleman to me. I yeah, mean, LTG is a fucking degenerate moron. Come on, give me a fucking break. But he, he was nice to Phil, so that makes him a nice guy. I say that publicly. The guy has never done anything negative towards me at all, to my knowledge. What? And the, any dealings or conversations I've had with the guy, he's been very nice. I had a private conversation with him and I was like, do you feel the June the King documentary is fair? Because I did a react to, to you know Wings of Redemption's documentary over on Frederick Nuts, and I'm looking for one on you. And he literally came to me very nicely. And he, and he like, said it's not fair. No. It's absolutely fucking fair, you fucking clown. Of course he's not going to say it's fair because he copyright struck the guy. Of course he's not going to say it's fair because he's just as narcissistic as you are, you fucking moron. You know, I don't think it's fair. I feel like there was some information in there that wasn't fully oh, yeah. public, and he made it public, and it kind of blew my spot up, and it, you know... Oh, yeah, he brought up some stuff that wasn't public and made him look bad. Who does this sound like? Who does this fucking sound like? DSP was talking to himself, basically. It's fucked up that he did that. And oh, he brought up some information that I did. I did something fucked up, and people didn't know about it. And then the dude brought it up, and people hated on me, which means that's bad. Um, I really feel like it's skewed negatively in a way that's not true. So, you know, I would appreciate if you wouldn't do it. And I said, all right, I won't do it. You, that was a very nice, you know, very nice. And I, you know, like I said, the few times I've talked to him over the years, he's never said anything negative about me. And like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like in regards to like insulting or whatever. Remember, you know, years ago I asked him, did he want to be in a series of matches with me in the Capcom, or excuse me, in the uh, Street Fighter 30th anniversary collection? And he could have said no. Yeah, by the way, he, he talked some shit about DSP, which was very funny. When every time somebody calls LTG the black DSP, he loses his shit. He's really pissed because he has a very low opinion on DSP. But he was nice to DSP when they talked. Rob or this or that. No. Two fucking narcissists talking to each other and they was nice to each other. Imagine my shock. Imagine my fucking shock. Oh, he, he said, listen, I was already in public matches and rivalries and things with someone like Vizant and stuff like that and I get nothing out of it all I get is yeah he got clapped and humiliated he got humiliated Viscant put him on a fucking spot and humiliated him in front of everybody and then told him that he can wash the taste of his cock out of his mouth that's why he doesn't want anything to do with that get fucked DSP and fucking LTG so even though it would be a fun casual thing to do no I don't want to do it fine I get it there you go. So that's all I know. And that's the funny part because everyone apparently is so, so negative and hates the guy. I can only tell you what I know about him from my personal dealings with the guy.
right? Right? And he's nice to me. He's nice. So that's all I know. He's I'm not nice. gonna say a negative word about someone who's not <laughs> bad to me. He's nice. He could literally be one of the worst people on the planet. I don't know. I don't all know. I know when I talk, he was nice to me. Just like this, like some Harvey Weinstein shit. Oh yeah, he might be some of the worst person on the fucking planet but when i had a coffee with him he was nice to me therefore he's nice you're not gonna look up some info before you fucking uh, kiss the guy's ass all right but anyway so yeah there was no threat because people were like oh he probably threatened phil and said if he reacts to that documentary he's gonna crush his gems and he's gonna finger snap what? his ass into the fucking shadow realm no he didn't do that what he didn't do that <laughs> <laughs> i don't know why people come up with this nonsense he was just nice because he copyright struck the guy that made the documentary so if you watched it, you're putting yourself right in between those guys. Like, nah, I don't think it's a fair documentary. It's actually kind of hurtful to me. So I said, all right, I won't do it. You know? It is fair, by the way. It just exposes some shit that LTG doesn't want people to know. And then he got fucking salty. <clears throat> That's the dumb shit. Anyway. Okay. So anyway, I need your feedback. I need Please your feedback. Please take a look at those documentaries. So right now, I would say the t two candidates would be the Pro Jared documentary and the Keemstar documentary. And right? of course, two guys that DSP hates. That's the pattern. Because DSP is extremely insecure right now. Because he's a massive loser getting 200 views per video. And he needs something that he's going to see as a win. And what he's going to see as a win is seeing somebody fall. He's going to see somebody's video that he hates and a video that is not in a positive light that exposes them and bad things that they've done. And what he's going to say is, hey, at least I'm not as bad as fucking Keemstar. I, I'll throw one out there, the Spoonie experiment, the Spoonie one. Because I used to watch his content over a decade ago. He was part of that guy with the glasses back then. And I enjoyed some of his content. He was part of the crossover events. And I enjoyed him as an actor and, and, and a talent in those. Um, and I don't know the guy's history. So I could watch, I would say I'll throw that one in there as a candidate. All right? So let's keep thinking about this. And then we'll pro what we'll probably do is like that last week of September, we'll, we'll, we'll maybe do a poll or we'll just talk about it and we'll hammer it in. We'll, just, we'll uh, figure it out. All right? And, uh, and that'll be how we figure out what we're going to do. For that special event. Okay? Okay. All right. Game news. Let's cover the game news. Game yes, news. Have game news to talk let's about. see what we got. Um, let's open up Twitter. Let's see here. Yeah, we're actually opening up Twitter. That's what we're doing right now. What are the game news? Where is it? What is this pop-up that awesome. happened? Uh, big up Jeremy Snap for the sub and Am so, Amac. Let's see, let's see. I already talked about Wolong. I'm sorry, this is kind of hard. Beta, or that demo Amac up to Uno, big ups for the so, as sub. As I play it over the course of that next Twelve weekend, minutes I'll be ago, able dude. Play it. So big positive news for JRPG fans and for me, because ladies and gentlemen, it's so interesting that this is happening now. Okay, it has been announced that next year. There will be a collection, an HD remaster collection of Suikoden 1 and 2, the two best games in the franchise. It will be sold as a package deal. The graphics have been completely redrawn for HD. The game is now widescreen. I am super excited. I played these back on PS1. I love these games. The game, I believe, has 108 characters. Am I right? That it has 108 characters you can recruit? Okay. I think so. I love these games. I played them back in the day in the 90s, and I never played them since. But they're some of my favorite RPGs of all time on the PS1 uh, era style stuff. And <laughs> the fact that this is now... The PS1 era style stuff. <laughs> Just say on the PS1. That's it. You don't have to be fancy like that. Here is perfect. PS1 era years. style oh, stuff. I love it and I want to play it. And now we actually have a reason to. Okay, so this is coming out next year. Sadly, no, no release date yet. But when it comes out, I'm absolutely playing at least one, if not both games. Uh, maybe what we'll do is we'll play one when it releases and one later on. Okay, but for those who are JRPG fans like me, if you're loving this Earthbound playthrough, it's going to be good, you know? Maybe another, another fun summer of, uh, of, of classic JRPG stuff, okay? So there you go. I'm excited for that. Um, we already talked about the Wolong demo. Street Fighter VI has officially, officially Yo. revealed the entire launch cast. The fuck, of the game. man! 
which is exactly the cast that was already leaked. So literally, there's no surprises between now and the release of the game. They already had everything leaked on them. Okay. So who is the cast of sure. Street Fighter Six? And now he's gonna read out every Luke, single character. Jamie, Man Manon, Kimberly, Marissa, Lily, JP, Jury, DJ, Cami, Ryu, E Honda, Blanca, Guile, Ken, Chun Li, Zangi, Dalzim, Liu Kang, Scorpion, Paul Phoenix. What the fuck? No, I'm just kidding. No, it's 18 characters, and it's a good mix because in there, you've essentially got. You know, I would say, man, a good a good mix, right? You've got at least the original eight World Warriors. Then you've got some add-ons like Kami and Ryu, who were the new. All right, exclamation skip in chat if you want to skip this segment. If you get if we get over ten skips, I'm skipping it. Then you've got. Some but I don't know. You might actually kind of care about Street Fighter, so I don't know. Luke, who's Street Fighter Five, right? So it's a good mix, I feel. But I, I like the fact that they do have. Um, a good amount of new characters as well. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I, I get it. I get it. I get it. We're skipping this. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, by the way. I'm very appreciative for this. I, I hate these fucking segments. Hey, no. Or everything I'm seeing. Seriously, everything that I'm seeing in the game is a positive. I'm he still... loves it. He loves Street Fighter well, 6. That's the whole segment. Take a look at those three platforms. I can't play it on Steam. Okay? I could have applied for, for PlayStation, but... The vast majority of people who play Street Fighter Five on console play it on PlayStation. Okay, PlayStation, playing, PlayStation. For Street Fighter Six. Street Fighter Six. Playing it all three days. It's gonna be Street playing Street it when it comes out. Okay. If you don't like Street Fighter? Go on vacation that weekend. Okay. Because if you don't I, like Street Fighter, fuck off. What is this? Immerse myself in this Hold game. On. Let's see the clown mode. But here's the hilarious part about it. Ready? Ready? Come here. You're gonna go. To tell you. You ready? Full on clown. Come look. Come closer. Ready? Come here. May not work. Because <laughs> you remember what happened with Street Fighter V? They had this giant exclusive beta and everyone went to do it and it didn't work. But, you again, you would hope that they have learned from their mistakes. Okay, like, skipping the Street Fighter fully segment. Fully 100% expect that. No, no one's going to hand select me to hand me a code and say... Please play the Street Fighter. No, Super this will never happen. Not even in your wildest dreams. Bozo, you got 200 views a video. Get back to Earth if you've ever even been there. Who did a super chat and says, Happy Friday, Happy Friday to you, Gabe. And that is it. No one has contributed. Oh, no, no contributions. Memberships, Zero. No super chats. No tips. What do you mean, no super chats? You're just typing out one. Nothing. So Zero. Nothing to shout out. Zero. Write to Q&A instead. And we're going to Q&A, you guys, because you know what this means. You know what this means. We got to stall. Because if, if he's going to make any money today, that's going to be the free stream. Otherwise, you, you've you got to get guilt tripped all day. Apparently, people really dislike me after the uh, the whole discussion about Olive Garden, Applebee's. Yeah, just in general. You're just dislikable. Okay. My popularity is an all-time low. You should be happy. You should be on your knees for every single tip you get because you are the scum of the earth. You're the most dislikable piece of shit alive. So yeah, you should be happy for every single dollar that somebody puts in your little gout-ridden hands. So there you have it. There you have I'll it. Let's it ask some questions. Can I play Far Cry 6? I did play Far Cry 6. I did a full playthrough of it. Can you play as your creative fighter online as Street Fighter 6? Not to my knowledge. The created fighter is for the unique world mode or world... Created beggar. There's a story mode called world something mode. Where you world create a something fighter, mode. travels around the world, <laughs> fights against generic enemies, but then actually has serious fights against the street fighters. And when they fight a street fighter, it's like a big boss fight. And if you beat them, you earn the ability to learn one of their special moves. So now your character is a custom character built with movesets from the existing cast. And so you're creating your own fighter going through this cool world tour mode. Sounds like a great mode for a fighting game. It's similar to what they did with Soul Calibur 20-some years ago. <clears throat> All right. Are we who getting are more questions? Who will I Street Fighter 6? Who will I play? Everyone. Who will I main? I Everyone. When, when a new game like this comes out, I give open opportunity to try out the whole cast. And I will. I'll try all the characters. The good thing about this game, Street Fighter 6, is that you have much of the main cast of the original Street Fighter game in it. So at least you have a starting point in having known the knowledge. Like, I'll give you an example. I didn't play Lucas Street Fighter 5. I know nothing about the character. But I know all about the classic Street Fighter cast. So you start there, and then you branch out. Right? Maybe I'll start with Honda, 
and then I'll play a new character. Okay, this is getting skipped. Daki says, do you feel you've looked at Splatoon more positively after not having to pay for it yourself? Maybe it was always bad. Oh, this but is not bait. Bad. This is bait. I'm looking at it objectively. The game objectively, is by the way, it's not bad. It's not objective because you bring up views and you bring up uh, money that you've made and you bring up live views that you got. This is not objective. This is biased. Objective is somebody that doesn't have all this shit to judge. So if I, for as somebody who doesn't play Nintendo games, if I took the game and just played it, I could be way more objective than that because I have nothing to base my opinion on outside of what i'm actually playing that is what objective is this dude bases everything he's the most biased fucking dude alive the game is a fully addictive fully functional online game with different game modes good visuals interesting gameplay mechanics and a wide variety of weapons there's nothing wrong with splatoon 3 but it's definitely the same as the last two games you can't even argue it's different it's the same game they just added a few new tweaks to it, just like what Call of Duty does every year, okay? If it's good for Call of Duty, it's good for Splatoon, right? Right? What? <laughs> Bro, you... I don't know. Just just do some drugs, man. I don't know. Do something that's that's gonna make you different than this. No, I'm not gonna play Catherine full Smoke box. Smoke some crack or something. Times. I'm not interested in it. I actually hated the gameplay. Of course he hates when it. When I played it, when it was a new release... I liked the story because at that point I had never really played an anime-ish game, right? I had never played Persona. I had never played any of those games before. So it was unique to me because I was like, wow, I feel like I'm playing an interactive anime. But man, I hate this gameplay. These puzzles suck. I would never want to go back and force myself to play a game I actually hated the first time around. Yeah, he can uh, come here and do some shrooms. Why do I think Kiryu... I, I, I do genuinely think if he does shrooms, he might get some actual epiphanies about life. He might actually see things in a different perspective. But I don't know. I think at, at this point, he's a lost cause. He's never getting better. He's only going to get worse. Like, purely narcissistic-wise. Yakuza 8 trailer has a Devil May Cry haircut. I think he's undercover. I think at this point, he's trying to stop being involved in Yakuza matters. Oh, I didn't hear his Planet yeah, Jeff shout-out last night. I don't know anything disguise. about that, that's honestly. I could be wrong, but I think that's his disguise. I but after this, gonna... we're going to watch some uh, some Bacon Sweats, because th that series is so good, man. If you don't know about it, go check it out, please. It's so good. Ichiban, and so he doesn't want people to recognize him, so he's changed his hairstyle. What's for dinner? Uh, pasta. Pasta today with chicken meatballs. <laughs> not, not what's special, for dinner? That's a, that's a that being said podcast question. That What's for dinner? You know, I am Italian. I am Italian. I thought you were an Italian. You guys, uh, uh, that actually Italian, of course. Can I start a book club where we all discuss a book once a week? No. No, he doesn't read anything. He doesn't even read tweets, man. He just reads the, the headline and then is like, well, I don't know what that, that actually means. RS Play says, just like there isn't major differences between the Apple iPhone 13 and 14, Splatoon 2 and Splatoon 3 have no major differences, but still people buy iPhone 14 and Splatoon 3. You so, said it, not me. So what? <laughs> no, that's that's a really stupid fucking comment. You shouldn't agree with Shouldn't anything. Shouldn't give me the perspective that to is biased like that. From crap like weed and elk and helped me mature. They taste awful, Lamo. Uh, they do taste awful, but but the taste is gone is like in like a minute. And and they do really give you perspective and make you think about stuff and make you a more uh feeling type of person. There you go. <clears throat> Okay, what's the next question? Let's see some some good hot questions. What's my favorite Yakuza and Judgment game? Uh, Lost uh, Judgment. Yakuza, honestly, I like them all. But he probably likes Yakuza them all. 4 because that's the one that got me into the series. Previously to that, I had only played Yakuza Dead Souls, which was a what-if scenario if everyone in Japan had been infected as a zombie and the Yakuza guys were fighting the zombies. But That sounds pretty <laughs> Yakuza fun, 4 was the honestly. First one I actually played in the main series, and it had four different protagonists... They all had unique, interesting stories and fighting styles. Uh, it was it was a colorful world. It immersed me in Japanese culture for the first time, really, in, in any game I had played. That's the one that got me into it. So I, I almost feel like a nostalgic feeling towards Yakuza 4 because... Oh, yeah, and with, good... with shrooms, if it's your first time, just eat half. Uh, it, that's kind of a rule of thumb. Uh, just eat half and see how you feel. If you feel good, if you feel, like, not stressed out or panicked or whatever. Because I've seen some people freak out, but they eat too much. Just, like, take it easy. It was and got me immersed in the universe. Okay, if you're talking about like uh, you know out of all of them, gameplay wise, Yakuza Seven. I like turn-based RPGs. 
<clears throat> so I'm going to always say that one, but that's just my personal preference. Um, All right, that's what they ask you about. Judgment, What's your personal I mean, I think, preference? I think original judgment's plot is better than Lost Judgment. I'll say that. But Lost Judgment has more content because it has the whole side school storyline that feels like a separate game. So it's like, do you like the game that has the shorter game that has the better plot overall or the game that's two games in one and each plot is pretty good but not as good as the plot of the first? How do you even judge that? I don't even know. How do you judge judgment? I don't know. What? Uh, you judge it objectively, right? You have an objective look at things. Right, unlike all the other people hat, that are subjective. For a hat goal for Assassin's Creed, I don't know. What exactly would a sultan's hat be? I'm not sure. You don't know what a sultan's hat is? Jeremy, I think that everyone is... It's like a big turban. ...in the modern day. And yes, I think that censoring a video game changing a police car into a van is kind of silly. That being said... I also think it was kind of silly to be calling... Shout a out that being said. You know what I mean? Like, it was weird to me that Velma called the police Okay. in a fighting game. That was odd to me to begin with. I was like a little weirded out. Like, that's kind of an odd choice. It is. I actually it think is. if it started with the Mystery Machine, it would have made more sense or at least been cooler or more cartoony. So I think now it actually makes sense. The problem is they changed it after the fact. And now it looks kind of stupid that they basically curtailed... Why does it look stupid internet. now? But it's now <laughs> they fixed it. Why does it look stupid? <laughs> they made it better, but it looks stupid. Like, they actually well, fixed it. Other content creators? Well, isn't it apparent? Begging. My stunning good looks. Okay, this... You're getting your screenshot segment of the day. We haven't done this in a while, but uh, go for it. Go for it. This is it. This is your chance. Take this, put it in a meme, put it on a t-shirt, put it on uh, your tombstone or something. I don't know. Just go for it. <laughs> And I'm going to play the help in the background while while you're done. This is only going to take less than 10 seconds. So all of you have a chance to do it. <laughs> wow. This is this is the best part of the stream so far. Get all these shots. Get all of them. What did you say that that got deleted? See? Uh and he plans to do nightmare fuel. How, how the event? fuck does yeah. Nightbot delete people for saying nightmare fuel? Nightbot. Usually, getting I do slapped. the best games of the year countdown and the worst games, or I call it the most disappointing games of the year countdown. Yeah, because you can't the have an actual overall, opinion. But the games that disappointed us the most, maybe a game that actually is good, but not as good as we had hoped. And that could make that countdown <laughs> too. I do it every year. Oh, yeah, when you say night in chat, it, it deletes you. And now it started deleting everybody. You guys, well, come on. I my shorts with my iPhone. And I have no Google models to You're begging for it at old, this point. You know, I... The thing is, I, I replace my phone when the battery's bad. The okay. battery on the phone is not atrociously bad. If I'm using the phone for phone calls and things, yes, it dies quick. But in general, if I'm just using the internet, reading emails, which is usually what I use it for, it doesn't die that fast. So I have no reason to upgrade the phone until it starts to die. Maybe another year or two. I guess we'll see. But... This whole chat is just full of people pissing off Nightbot. And some people are getting uh, timed out for 30 seconds. Dude, come on. You're doing this to yourself at this point. I can't do anything about it. Yeah, right now, the phone's fine. I have Stop zero this. Clue what it is, nor do I care to even look it up. I don't give a shit. <laughs> you know? I just don't care. <clears throat> we just don't care. Well, I mean, that's... Of course, you're you're like 40. Why would you switch up your phone every year? I don't do that either. I I do it when my exactly when it a breaks. Light headscarf or a turban like Aladdin. Well, here's the thing. If there was like a costume hat that looked like that and I could put it on, that's fine. If I had to wrap my head in a real turban, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna learn how to head wrap a turban and shit and do it on stream and then, you know, it has to be like a, a silly costume hat or whatever. Okay. Yeah, huh. most of them are like that. You, I I wouldn't think DSP would get an actual turban. What what is happening in chat? How would I feel uh, if I told you people are getting podcast? muted because they are dissing Nightbot with phrases that they know are gonna get them deleted? <laughs> and for some reason, when you say night in chat, it deletes you. But this not in the in the banned word list. Pass over your gameplay. That's fine. It's very bizarre. That's good. I told you guys this year was all about diversification. That I what? didn't want to forever be known as just the guy who plays video games on the internet or the That's, guy who jerked know. off. The fact that now. People know that I do a podcast. I do react style oh, content. Yeah. Bro, do you've been doing a podcast. Did you forget about Hate Live, the actual podcast you used to do? You have to. Uh, you used to have people call in and talk to you. Come on, did you forget about that? You used to do that in like 2014, like 2012, 2013. Give me a fucking break. 
Who are you trying to convince? Everybody who pays attention to DSP knows this shit. With the king, yes, I'm doing... Oh, by the way, I think members are immune to getting hit by the nightbot. I think so, but I'm not sure. So don't try and piss him off if you're a member. Gameplay every day. We have all this content, right? It's good. It's a good thing to be known for a variety of things. Oh, yes. You have people who like the different things you do for various reasons. Do you want to know the truth? That's the reason why I'm still surviving today. If I was a one-trick pony who was only known for <laughs> one thing on the internet, I wouldn't still be here today. But because I've been this the is variety amazing. gamer guy, it wasn't just Street Fighter, it wasn't just Call of Duty, it wasn't just Dark Souls, it was Phil Plays, everything. Variety. That's the reason I'm still pertinent today. How could I ever not be pertinent when there's so many new games coming out to try it at a moment's notice and people are interested in my thoughts on them, right? I found essentially the eternal thing to do <laughs> as a job. Uh, Phil Collins. But if I had only wait, wait, he my... found the eternal thing to do as a job. The eternal thing. Big ups Phil Collins for the membership and Andrew for the seven months of support, dude. That's a long time. Enjoy your crown. Myself into doing one style, I could have been out of business years ago. You yeah, see? you should have been out of business years ago. The only way you're in business still is that you ask people to keep you in business. That's the only way. And don't try and convince you that it's otherwise because it's not. I found the internal business strategy, you guys. I just have to watch React videos just and beg for tips. Dylan, yes, if you still wanted a private Q&A video from my Patreon, you could request that as well. But don't request too many because he's going to have to refund your money and deny it. Even though... It's very profitable for him. It's, it's, Imagine somebody gives you $50 to watch any YouTube video and just say what you think about it. You don't have to like it. You don't have to hate it. You don't have to have any opinion of it. You just watch it and you have a natural reaction to it. That's all you have to do. And the dude said if too many people want that from him, he's going to have to deny them. Come on, bruh. Nothing's changed. Essentially, it's just a private video for of about 20 minutes long for a $50 Patreon play. And big ups uh, react, Michael Krinikowski and Gujira for both of you having yeah. eight months of support, dude. Big ups. What's the next question, Phil? Come on. Stop fucking around. One percent did milk, we end the podcast? We still haven't ended it. Now he's asking, where did the name of the podcast come from? Why don't you go back to the beginning of the podcast and watch the first episode when it's explained? <laughs> Why don't you explain it, though? It's because you're a loser. That's where it comes from, that you're a loser on level one. After 14 years, you're still on level one. And today you cried about getting 200 views per video, which is a uh, very much a level one moment. Go back to the level one podcast episode one. Why and big ups uh, Spooniton for the tip. I guess these ones are not getting TTS, but I'm going to read it. Nice to have you back, dude. Are the frequent streams because of COVID? Uh, not that I'm complaining. Uh, get well soon and keep on thrashing the roach. Big ups. Yes, uh, thanks for the tip, first of all. And yes, the frequent streams are because I'm uh, in quarantine right now. I used to have COVID, now I'm better. But uh, during that time, I started a Twitch and I engaged more with like that being said, dudes, and the YouTube stuff. So yeah, basically, yeah. So that's your answer, big ups. Watch part one and you'll get your explanation. <laughs> I don't have to answer that. I don't have to answer that because go watch uh, which which level one podcast is this? Is this like episode I don't know like sixty or something? Go watch the first one to find out. But this is a Q and A segment. That's that's right, ALT. I think that's you, obviously. Uh, this is the most the bleh. 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 Let's Try this again. This is the most number of subscribers I've ever had on the channel. What? Okay? Um, the oh, reason, we're talking about actual subs, okay. Gaming never had more than 200,000 subscribers. Okay? Oh, no, this is another cope segment. Get a load of this. Okay, let's uh, send in your suggestions in chat. Let's play this game. Send in what you think the cope is going to be. My, my suggestion is because he was uploading too many videos, so people didn't want to be subscribed. That's the first one. And the second one is that uh, he has too many trolls or something. I don't know. So that's, that's my first one. Reason number one. Reason number is one. Back in the day, the way that YouTube worked was really stupid. All right, okay. Allow me to explain. Okay. Back in the day, you couldn't upload long videos. You could only upload videos of around 10 to 15 minutes in length. I was making videos at a time when that was the limit. So, in one day, if I'm playing a game, it's a brand new release, and I'm playing eight hours of that game, guess how many videos I had to upload? 60 videos in one day. So what would happen is, if someone subscribed to my channel, their entire inbox would be flooded with my videos. 
and they would like, well, I don't want that to happen. So they would say, listen, I check your channel out every day. I watch all your playthroughs, but I'm not going to yep, subscribe to your yep, channel. Yep, there this we go. There was a time that at one point I was getting 10 million views in a month. But yeah, bro, this is like, this is a terrible idea. What did you think? It's not YouTube's fault. If you upload like a thousand videos a day and people get notifications for that, they get a sub, their sub box spammed with that. Of course, they don't want to be uh, subscribed to you. That's just common sense. It's not YouTube's fault. It's your fault. Nobody made you upload all these videos a day, but you did it because they were making you money. And just like you said, they were making you views. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> I was getting hundreds of thousands of views on my channel in one day. Because you were spamming YouTube. People literally could not escape from you. You were just taking over everything because you were making too much shit. And the people that used to care about the stuff that they made didn't make that much. Because you, if you care about your, your channel, there is no chance in hell you're going to upload 20 videos a day, 30 videos a day, 40 videos a day. There is no way in hell if you give a fuck about your channel. And this dude didn't. He just looked at the money. He just looked at the views. That's all he cared about. And then they stopped giving him money, making him views. When a new game came out, Part one of the playthrough would get 50,000 views in 24 hours, okay? So, by rights, I should probably have way over a million subscribers from how popular that I was back in the day. The problem is, the way that YouTube worked didn't allow my style of content to be digested properly by an audience. Of course. Because they just flooded everyone. And, and you okay. see the way that he fucking phrases it, man. It's still not his fault. It's still not his fault. The dude was uploading uh, actually dozens of videos a day. And it still wasn't his fault that people didn't want to be subscribed. YouTube did not allow them to, uh, to digest the videos. But for real, YouTube never intended you to upload so many videos a day. You were never supposed to do that. Okay. You just did that because you're a scumbag and you don't care about what people feel and how they think and what their opinion of your videos are. So at a time when subs were very important, everyone was, was judged off of their subscriber count. I couldn't get a high subscriber count because YouTube. No, because you, because you focused on making money and not growing your channel. And that's why after 15 years, you still can't get 200K. Didn't make their website work properly for my style of content. Of course, for my style of content. Your style of content was trash. Your style of content was never the meta. And it never should be because your style of content is the wrong way to make content. And that's why you failed. It worked for a time when there was no competition, when the algorithm was not... Uh, sophisticated and now it is and now you're getting owned by children that make minecraft videos that make fortnite videos that make clickbait fucking videos all right but and those clickbait videos are still better than his garbage time that they changed that people were already kind of used to not subscribing to my channel and what i mean by that is like years and now this is an actual cope this is an actual cope they made it so that, okay, I subscribe to the channel, but don't send me a, 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 an update every time they upload a video. I'll yeah. just believe that, you know, or maybe you'll get one in your box and that's it. They, they added those features over the years, but most people were never even aware those features existed. And most people were already used to watching DSP Gaming casually, you know, they go there once or twice a week and watch all the videos and not subscribe, okay? Um, so essentially what happened was DSP Gaming hit about, I would say, 160,000 subscribers and then just froze and never increased. People continued to watch the content. The content still flourished, but it just never it increased flourished. from there because people didn't want their inboxes flooded. Now, over the years, DSP Gaming sadly was affected negatively by a ton of shit. False copyright strikes, being thrown out of the YouTube algorithm. I could go through a million things, but... I had to change my my content style and delivery a ton of times. I had to go from 15 minutes to 30 minutes, then from 30 minutes to an hour long. Okay. I had to decrease the amount of ads running on my videos. It used to be for each video, there'd be three ads on a 10-minute video. Yeah, that's so fucking more. insane. One that's hour. insane. How do you even expect people to watch your videos, let alone decide to subscribe? If you put three ads on a 10-minute video, a 10-minute video, man. Come on. Hour of content, you'd be watching three ads. 18 ads. Now, doing hour-long videos, you probably watch, what, five, right? 
So the thing is, the way that YouTube changed over the wow. years, definitely changed. The I haven't seen a single one because I don't watch his videos it on a platform like to that. The abyss. It flourished in the abyss. It flourished into the garbage can. And now we make 200 video, 200 fucking views a video. This one doesn't even have 200. Bro, I uploaded a, an actual gaming video like two days ago that has more views than this dude. Wait, this is on my gaming channel. Uh, the Meerkat Mobster. I'm very proud of that channel. It, it, it's very good. Look at this. This has 86 videos in, in, in 11 hours. I'm the fucking goat. Look at this. 134 two days ago. And, and his fucking... This, this fucking dude. 14 years it took him. 14 years. 14 years. And look at this. 222. 1 to 62. Yo. The channel and change the amount of I would people. be embarrassed. I wouldn't be bringing this up if this was me doing my job for a living and this was how my channel looked like. I wouldn't even be bringing it up. I would be banning people in chat that said, hey, Phil, you have 100 fucking 50 views a video. Who were watching and all kinds of stuff. Why is he going on about this again? Because he's coping. He is really insecure and he's really sad about not getting views and he's coping with it. He's trying to explain to himself. Because this is not about explaining to you because you know how shit works. You're not like stupid like that. But this dude tries to explain it to himself. So eventually... Big ups uh, Pro Farah for the membership. I left YouTube full time. I was a full time YouTuber for a long time. But in 2017, okay, with what all happened? The bullshit happening on YouTube, especially the ad apocalypse. This is when YouTube lost a ton of its big advertisers, like Starbucks and Walmart, and all the ads plummeted in in pro, uh, in profitability. So I used to be able to make a full time living just putting videos out on YouTube. As of 2017, I could no longer do that anymore. So it I wasn't completely enough. Change up my formula. Completely change up my formula. By the way, go on Twitch and make streams. Even though he was making streams on YouTube before. And the first time he started making streams, he was completely ignoring chat. So it could be like, he could still be making videos, but also be getting revenue from streams. And I became a full- And also I think Night Newt in chat, uh, I think you're getting timed out because you have Night in your name, which is some of the, the stupidest shit that I've seen in my life. And I'm gonna try and fix that, but for now on, I think this is how it's gonna be for now. Because you're not saying anything wrong, but you're getting timed out. So I'm, I'm going to go check it out right now, but I'm not sure that the bot is going to refresh. Full-time streamer instead. Now my focus is streaming content. Do I do some on-demand videos exclusively for YouTube? Yes, but not that many. My focus is this interactive stream with you guys. And when that happened, when I changed to being an interactive streamer in And he's still trying to convince himself that he changed, which is the most fucking delusional thing. Because he still does the same low quality shit, is just in a different format because it makes him more money. That's just it. That is all that it is. It just makes him more money. Because if he still used to do the stuff the same way he did back then, he wouldn't make anything. Basically, all interest in DSP gaming kind of waned because it was just an archive channel of my streams. All right? It wasn't until last year that I came back to YouTube fully. All right, the bot should be fine. My full -time you guys should uh, test it out by saying something about Nightbot in chat. Into this channel again, trying to bump it up. So the good news is, in a year's time, a channel that was all but defunct, it was basically just an archive, a repository of stream archives, okay, has increased by 20 to 30,000 subscribers. It has. It's junk. Yo, you see Nightbot is gone. Now you can slander him all you want. I let you slander Nightbot all you want. Because Nightbot is, is fucking sucks. He's banning people in my chat for no reason. You can call him anything you want. But not not like, not like slurs. Don't call him slurs. In the last year and a half? Because I'm then I have to manually, you know, enforce the rules. The subscribers went boop like this. Okay? That's good. The problem is the viewership here doesn't really exist anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like it used to have... Tens of thousands of people check out the content every day. I don't get that anymore. You know, a lot of people see me as a relic and it sucks. But what can you do? <laughs> a lot of people see me as a game. relic and it sucks. You, you are a relic. Look at your camera. Look at your layout. Look at your background. Look at your fucking videos. Look at your channel. This is a relic. 
It's from an era that does not exist anymore. Was everything I do, and I still do get people coming. And we back don't to even look back at it fondly. It's not like Ray William Johnson back in the day when we could look at that and be like, "Oh, look at this dude. He was like edgy as fuck, and he could say whatever he wants, making all these jokes." That was a cooler time. No, DSP is a relic of an era that sucks ass that nobody wants to get back to because it was boring and it was lame watch me play the big new releases when i play them i know for a fact this fall when the hot new releases come out you're going to see people coming to the streams in the channel that have been away for a long time and they're going to come back oh and the okay. pre-stream is done so uh in the next within the next five minutes we're going to watch some stuff from yesterday because that shit was so good man <laughs> i followed it up i think so, that's why uh everybody in the that being said discord was was uh keeping up with it it was really fun i'm gonna send a link to that if you want to join because we're trying to make it a positive interactive place where you can discuss streams uh, alive because they added this new thing where it's kind of like a forum. I've never topped 200,000 so subscribers. The, Even though back in the day I used to get 10 billion thing. views a month. That doesn't matter. No one wanted to subscribe. That doesn't matter. If you got to swindle people into views, if you got to spam videos for views, then that's not a good strategy. That's not going to work out. That's not going to do anything for you. And it sucks and you will eventually fail just like we saw now. Channel. So here you go. Oh, that's what RS Play says. Well, whatever it is, you deserve more. I've seen worse gamers and streamers having much more. No, no, no. Listen. No, no, no. No, 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 no. He doesn't deserve shit. He doesn't deserve a quarter of what he got. If we got to talk about deserve. No, 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 no. Those worst streamers, those worst content creators, at least they try and fake being fun. They try and fake having nice views. Even if they're an asshole, they try. And they make edited videos and they make stuff. And I give them credit for that. I don't like them, I don't watch them, but I give them credit. This dude, I can't give credit to anything. That's subjective. It's your opinion that people are worse or better than me. But here's the thing. Those are newer people. And the thing on YouTube now is, if you hit that algorithm and you become popular for something, you will exponentially grow immediately and explode. You will. That's how it works on YouTube now. But uh, Big up Spooniton for the $3 uh, tip. YouTube should start charging people when they exceed 100 terabyte of data. This way, spammers like this dude would at the very least think twice before littering the site with actual garbage. You know, this I think is low-key a good idea because YouTube, I think we take it for granted for how much stuff you can upload for completely free. And not just upload, you can make money in so many ways on YouTube through like... Not just the, the ads and super chats, but all, all those other ways. And you can upload unlimited stuff, whatever you want, with custom thumbnails and custom everything. And people like this dude are taking it for granted, and they complain about it sucking so hard, while they forget this is completely free, and it's unlimited bandwidth that you got. To stream, unlimited bandwidth you got, unlimited storage space you got for all your stupid videos. You're someone who already exists, it's almost impossible to get noticed on YouTube. So this channel's been around since, what, 2010? Good luck. Good luck getting attention on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, good luck. No, no, no. never get thrown into the algorithm these Good days. luck. Not even luck is going to help them out. Not even luck. There's a thing called viewer retention in the pacing. There are those two separate things that are better than luck. Because you don't have to be lucky if you can retain a viewer. You don't have to be lucky if you have a good pacing for your stream that's going to make people stick around. He doesn't have any of those. So all the luck in the world, even if PewDiePie drops in his chat and sends all his viewers DSP's way, they're going to all fizzle out within a week and they're all going to be gone. Because he can't retain people. Because he is the actual problem. It's not Susan. It's not PewDiePie for saying the N-word back in 2017 and making all the, the people go away. All the advertisers. No, it's Dark Side fucking Phil. Who, whose fault it is for the DSP gaming channel being in, in the garbage. You know, it's just, it's my hardcore fans watching this stuff. <clears throat> is the hardcore fans, by the way. Are, are we still at zero uh, zero dollars at tips? Is this a legendary pre-stream? Not even like a dollar? Yes, I probably will play both Yakuza Ishin and, and Yakuza Gaiden. No, I, I don't give a fuck. That was negative about Home from the Revolution. Within a, a, a couple weeks, it got a million views. The channel blew up in popularity. No, no, no. It was a negative. It was a negative. You called it the worst game ever. So when you say shit like this, you're going to get clickbait. You know this.
when you call something the best thing ever or the worst thing ever, you're going to get clickbait. You're going to get people clicking on it. But that is not enough. You need to keep those people. You need to respect them. You need to make them come back for the next video. And the, the most important thing is you need to come, make them come back to the next video even if it's not a video they're supposed to care about. If I'm not a fan of, let's say, Resident Evil, and this dude that I like makes a review of Resident Evil, and I go check it out, this is that dude doing a good job. Because I wouldn't have checked out this video if it wasn't for him. Because I don't care about this. But if he does a good job, I'm going to check it out. If he makes a fun video, I'm going to check it out. And that's what actually matters. It's not clickbaiting people. It's making them stay and making them come back because of you. It's not about the things you talk about. It's not your editing. It's not your jokes. It's about you. And YouTube's old uh, slogan used to be broadcast yourself. And now all the videos and that was what it was all about. You broadcasting yourself, your own personality, what you do and how you do it, whatever you do. Because I was putting out on the channel was getting between 10,000 to 50,000 views, some getting hundreds of thousands of views just because of the one video and the channel got a ton of subs and everything. It proved my point. It absolutely proved my point about the YouTube algorithm that new channels can get noticed, old channels cannot. That's just how it works on YouTube. Oh yeah, of course. All new channels can get noticed, but old channels can't. This is this is some some stupid shit. <laughs> this is some like I don't know cult shit. Will recover from their flop. I have no idea. I didn't play it. I don't know. I didn't play it. Now I I feel he's getting kind of upset. Look at this look on his face. On his face, zero dollars in tips. And we're we're done with the podcast, you guys. We have like a minute left. We're at zero. We're legitimately at zero. The game logo is on the screen. We're at zero. This is very bad. This is very very bad for DSP. Where things will be interesting. <clears throat> Let's see the outro. Let's see him adjourn. Okay. All right. Guys, thank you for watching the podcast. I hope you liked it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the morning show. Zero. Uh, I think it is now time for us to jump back into Earthbound for some chill fun. I'm excited. I love Earthbound. I'm excited. I'm to play through so far. We're in the third town now where things will be interesting. So I hope that you guys will chill and engage and have a good time with me today in Earthbound. Thank you for watching. Until tomorrow, peace out. All right. And we get, let's see the outro. <laughs> This is the Kate Army Watch song. I love this outro. He still doesn't know it's a troll song. It's literally the money, money, yeah, yeah song. <laughs> I love this, man. Re! And it said re just like in the song. He's getting cucked every day. Every single day he ends the stream, he gets cucked. And he doesn't even know he's getting cucked. Now let's check out the bacon sweats from yesterday. Because, man, this, this series is so good. This series is so good. Please go check it out because uh, I don't like watching people's stuff uh, that just got uploaded. Uh, because, uh, obviously, we're stealing views away from them. Uh, first, uh, I want to check out this one from the 11th. Because this one was the, it was the 9-11 stream. And it was exactly what it sounds like. God damn. I'm gonna send it in chat, so... Oh, wow, damn. This is an actual normal volume for something, because going from DSP to a normal volume thing is, uh... is traumatic. All right. Bagging. 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 <laughs> I'm not going to complain. Uh, Bagging. I'm not going to complain. Bagging. Over a hundred dollars <laughs> of super chat. Wait, check this out. Awesome. Okay. Crazy support in that way. We hit the tier one members goal for the month. But we just couldn't get many tips. In fact, Even we if you don't like, go no watch this video, make sure to click on the link, give it a like, and subscribe. Please do that. And later go and watch the video. We were like 15 minutes away from the end of the stream. We had 18. So, okay. So this from 9-11, he played, um, I don't know what he played, Bassmaster or some shit. So let's see what it is. Let's see what it is. This is the first time I'm ever going to watch his fishing gameplay because I'm drunk. Dollars and tips. Wait, what did he say? get many tips. In fact, we were like, tips. no exaggeration. We were like 15 minutes away from the end of the stream. We had $18 in tips. 
<laughs> in this face this face of like dude i don't know why people are not giving me money for playing video games i'm so confused this is my job dude come on please <laughs> welcome to the chill fun i hope that you're all doing well and uh, i welcome you all here tonight welcome to the chill fun by the way this is one of those things that is just i don't know how he can think about phrases like this it just kind of assembles in his brain welcome to the chill fun interactive chill fun fun chill fun dude fun chill <laughs> oh the autocorrect is already on i had it on all day actually the autocorrect good evening everyone hello the fuck is an how autocorrect we have the new fisherman's hat that for the last two weeks we have hit a hat goal of $100 raised on each stream. And each time we've done that, we add a new fishing lure to the hat. I'm not going to complain. This stream was great for support. It was just weird that the tips are what allow look, us to do the hat. Look, goal. look, look, look. There is no such thing of I'm not going to complain, but I'm going to bring this negative thing up and I'm going to attract attention to it. That is not how it works. That is what complaining means. If there is something that is negative that you are unhappy with and you bring it up, that is complaining. Okay, let's say I have to go to work, right? And I don't want to go to work. And I'm like, dude, I'm not complaining, but today I don't really want to go to work. That's me low-key complaining. And, and with him, it is high-key complaining for the fish fishing streams where I put on a hat, had a lure and everything. We had it going for two weeks. People liked it. All of a sudden this week it dried up. We had it going for two weeks, by the way, which is very, is very interesting because uh, he plays the game once a week. So this him, him saying we had it going for two weeks is the equivalent of him saying we had it going f twice. That's, that's basically it. But he tries to make it like the streak was bigger. And this is a very nice side profile, by the way, with the alcohol, uh, uh, fetal alcohol syndrome head. <laughs> Fantastic, man. And now he's gone. He went to take the hat. There we go. We're back. We're going to dangle we it in front of his tons uh, of fishing thing. lures. Tons the of lures. Bucktail jig. Bucktail the jig. Jam fab jigs neon. <laughs> Green. Every time he does this, I cannot unsee ALT Insider showing up the, the little bottle cap in front of the camera. That's I can't unsee this. This is what it's going to be from now on. Green and pink. <laughs> There's a little white one and a little yellow one. It's not a big deal. Hey, look at this. Look at this. But then we've got the ginormous chubby torpedo. Wow, the chubby torpedo. Guess, uh, yeah. I have a thing like that. My girlfriend calls it like that. And then we've got the whole... Because <laughs> it busts real fast, but it's fat as fuck. Set. Remember this? <laughs> I showed you guys a couple weeks ago. Those uh, were all donated by fa a fan. A shrimp. A shrimp? A Look at this, man. Look at this. He's literally baiting people for fucking, like, giving him money for this shit. Uh, this is wild. Silver sardine. <laughs> I call it goldie because it's mostly gold, but it has a red face. Wow. So... To remind you how that works, okay? If we raise $50 in tips tonight, it'll be the gunner glasses. Okay. And then if we raise the $100, that's when I'm going to get the fisherman's hat out of the closet. <laughs> when he shows the glasses like that in the thing, it looks very weird. Put it on, and you guys will be voting to add a new lure to the hat. I'll figure that one out, because I don't <laughs> think you can. But anyway... This game is great, by the way. It's open world. You get to drive around in a in a boat. <laughs> I pick up this controller. This stream is so boring, man. I love man. this game. I love this game. <laughs> and I love the, the the cuts. The cuts are so good, man. It just cuts to him being super bored and just kind of sitting there. And it's like this this type of a stream is perfect for just shooting the shit and talking about all kinds of stuff. You can talk about anything. You can talk about gaming. You can talk about movies. You can talk about music. But this dude has nothing to talk about. He got nothing going on. He can't even, like, talk about his own life, man. Just like say something, say something. No. Cause there's like, I'm I'm sure if he was more talkative, a bunch more people would stick around and just listen to his streams. Just like for, you know, like to keep him company or something. But no, he's just like sitting so far, there. So far, no dice. Like, Let's ridiculous. Keep 
Three dollars. Okay, let's 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 get the ball rolling, guys. Come on, we nah. need to put on the we need to put on yes, the hat, the vest, for a very and everything. Long time, Derek, that's correct. Hey, Derek, Derek I did said know something. That the spooky, scary skeletons animation was from an old cartoon, but I did not know it was from the 1929 Disney one. You're okay, yeah, no, thanks, thanks for this, Derek. By the way, he called Jasper Derek. I'm gonna check this out later. This is fantastic, and he made a short out of it. He made a short from it because that's how proud he was with that moment. It was a highlight for his streams for calling one of his biggest degenerate viewers, like an actual, an actual degenerate, factually proven degenerate. He was calling them his cat. It's great. Okay. The hat trick is that every week we hit the $100 tips goal and I bring out the fishing hat and we add a new lure. That's the street. That's so the right street. now we're at two. The last two weeks we've done that. We added the frog and then we added- And like we said on the, I think it was a call-in show, that's not a streak. It's a pair. It's, it's two. That's not a streak. That long, um, I think it was actually called the gotcha, the gotcha lure. Har, Ooh, har, the har, gotcha right? lure. So that's what we added last week. Let's see if we can keep that-, that Got me that gotcha. Um, keep that going. Uh, well, he would, uh, that, that's a good thing uh, Lucas in chat says. If somebody talks about sports or rap or something, he's going to yell at them. That's because he can't join the convo. He's feeling excluded. So when he feels excluded, he wants to redirect the conversation towards himself. Because this is supposed to be his stream, right? But he can't join in the conversation. Because I remember when, when Kanye put out an album and Drake put out, put out an album, it was like uh, Donda versus uh, Certified Lover Boy. And people in his chat were talking about which album is better. And the dude, of course, doesn't know anything about that. So he wanted to, them to all just shut up and focus on him. And the dudes were having an actual organic conversation in his chat for once. For once. And he wanted to, to ruin that. People that were actually, like I said earlier, they were retained. Retained viewers. They were sticking around, having a combo, uh, having a combo, talking about stuff. He wanted to derail that completely. I think they're remaking the Haunted Mansion movie. Why are they remaking Haunted Mansion? Didn't, didn't they have an Eddie Murphy version that sucked? Why didn't what? they make another one? I don't know, man, because it's fucking Hollywood. <sighs> anyway. They remade, a, a, what was it, Good Night Mommy, which was a European movie. They remade it with, like, Naomi Watts, and it kind of flopped. Derek, no, actually, I didn't see the Eddie Murphy Haunted Mansion, nor did I see the Muppets Haunted Mansion. I never saw either one. I'd like to see I'd Derek like to see saw the, the, Muppets. The, the sex parody of that, too. He saw all of them. That's one, at least. I like the Muppets. Of course he likes the Muppets. He's like one of them. That we have so many content creators <laughs> that are supposed to be legit content creators. What does I'll that mean? I legitimately review this. I legitimately try to play and co cover things. But then they're getting paid on the, on the back end for other okay. things. I just don't like that. I what really... does legit means though? Isn't it in the... It, it's like beauty, right? What they say, beauty in the eye of the beholder. Isn't it up to you to figure out if somebody is legit and honest based on what you hear them say in the review? Because I think that's what it comes from. Because a lot of people are being paid, of course. Every single channel that can be monetized is being paid. So, of course, making a positive review of something, making a very negative review of something are going to get you more views. It's going to get you more money. So you are naturally more biased to do that. So it's up to the viewer to kind of figure it out. You know, I think it's fucked up. I think that's underhanded. You know, I don't want to see someone tweeting about a game. Oh, I'm so hyped for this game. Hashtag ad. Okay. You know, that's bullshit. Then you make your opinion on if he is legit or not, which in this case, I would think they're not. Because I play NBA 2K, for, in, for example, and I see so many people on Twitter being like, NBA 2K is going to be the best fucking game I've ever played. And then I go to their channel and I see, oh, that's a 2K channel. That's the, that, that, that's the channel that just plays NBA 2K. Of course they're going to be hyped as fuck. Of course they're going to be hyped. It's a game that they make their all of their living from. Of course. So it's up to me to figure out if they're honest with it or not. And if I want to watch their videos or not. Shit. It means that you can't trust. And why would... Because there is no level of entry to, to YouTube. Anybody can make a video. Anybody can be monetized. And it's up to you to figure out if they're worth... You believing in them and you believing their opinions. I mean, I'm going to be honest. Why do people watch those content creators? I don't understand it. And these are big people. These are giant people who are hugely popular and they do this constantly and make insane amounts of money doing it. And it's not legit. It's junk. It's advertisement constant. It's not legit. It's junk. It's advertisement. Uh, advertisement is not inherently bad. It's just up to you to figure out if the advertisement is, you know, is worth your time. And... 
and you gotta of course you gotta take a you gotta take it with a grain of salt if somebody is being advertised and they're reviewing something because obviously it's gonna be biased I just don't agree with that philosophy because never... it's all based on access if they give it a bad review they're not gonna get an access for the future they're not gonna get a review copy they're not gonna get uh, you know some extras or like the deluxe edition or whatever they're not gonna get it next time because that's how publishers work and that's how public relations work because they're, they don't want to give people access to people that are going to give them negative press. Never have. I never will. I never you will. You don't have the chance for it. Nobody offers you that stuff. Uh, or as you say, they offer you that stuff and you say no because you're an honest guy, in which case you're a hypocrite because then you turn around and you beg people for their hard-earned money. You mean doing that kind of shit. I get offered it every day. I'm not even kidding you. I got another one yesterday. Please there we play go. our game. We'll send you know. We'll send you the ad campaign data and shit. And it's of course it's all these indie okay. games that are trying to get noticed. So and okay. I don't do that shit. I refuse. What's bad with a indie game trying to get noticed though? I don't. I don't get that. That's that's okay. Go for it. Go give it a shot. Maybe you're gonna like it. Maybe you're not gonna like it. If you don't like it, they're probably not gonna give you any more in the future because that's what they think. They don't want people to get a negative press. They're gonna find somebody else who's gonna love the game. Or maybe it's going to be just a good game that you're going to like. They try to do it with every game. They try to do it with Rumble Versus. They try to do it with all... Every game is trying to do these ad campaigns now. And I just don't want to participate in them. But there's just so many people who do them and take the paycheck. And I find people all the time defending that online. Even other content creators. Oh, it's fine. Take the bag. Take the bag. Uh, since when did life just become about taking the bag? Instead of actually doing something meaningful. Uh, you do this for a living, right? And doing something for a living involves getting the bag. That's just how it is. That's that's just the facts, man. Full. Really? And how is everyone okay with this? How when is did everyone I miss that? okay I with to... this? Well, they're not. People that are fraudulent and that lie in their reviews, they get called out. They get called out simply. We... Oh. But I think a lot of these, uh, if we got to talk about shilling and stuff, a lot of it is super s subtle. A lot of it, I think, is, is comes down to very, very subtle nuances where some sentence in the review is going to get changed a little bit to make it from a negative to a positive. So it's going to kind of sound like, you know, let's say this game is pretty bare bones. But what the reviewer is going to say is, well, yeah, this game is bare bones, but I'm glad they, they didn't spend their budget on making their world better or the, this better, but they spend their budget in this direction, which I've seen plenty of people call it like that, and then I base my opinion off of that, whether or not I'm going to trust their reviews for the future. And also, nothing is stopping you from going to different outlets to make your opinion and watching a bunch of people's reviews to base your opinion off them and then just find the ones that you kind of happen to agree with on the regular and then kind of trust them more or less uh, consistently. So, for example, Angry Joe. I do happen to agree with him on a lot of the games he releases. Skill Up, uh, another example. Skill Up, I don't know a, another reviewer that I've disagreed with more on, on so many things. The dude gave such a glowing review on, on The Division 2 that I hated. He gave it a massively glowing review. But for some games, he, he, he hits it right. He really gets it, and I agree with him on that. So I make sure to, to balance out the people that I watch to base my opinion on, on different things that they say. Oh, I do something because I love it, because I have passion for it, because I want to do something good. I want to do something helpful. You know what I mean? Something positive, something morally right, something creative, morally something right. that adds to the world. No, no. Creative, no. You can't even come up with a creative name for your shows. No. You're not creative. World constructive. Now, no. something that makes dollars. Something that pads my pockets. Okay. Something that allows me to continuously roll in dough and keep being on top. That's not a bad thing, though. I would rather do that than actually beg f people for their, for their money. Because that way, the people that agree with me and the people that like me, they're going to stick around. They're going to listen to my opinion or not. That doesn't matter. But I'm not going to put a burden on everybody. That's, that's what is important. So I would rather take the sponsorship or uh, get a game that, and give it a positive review if I feel like it than actually ask people for their money. That's how the world works, too. I hate to tell you guys. That's why I don't like That's how, how the, the world, world works. A dude who doesn't go outside is going to tell you how the world works. That is a fascinating statement. He doesn't go outside. He hasn't interacted with the world. The most he gets to interact with the world is going to a restaurant. 
set up either with a lot of this shit. And these are, by the way, turning into the Minecraft streams, where the Minecraft stream was, was exactly like this. It's him just sitting there and bitching about the world and shills and everybody else while being super, super happy about life. Definitely. Super happy. But it seems like people are just so desperate to make the internet catch up with real life. It's like... What does that even mean? I don't know. The maybe. internet catching up with real you know? life. Oh, easy for you to say you're not receiving the cash. I could be. I could be. No, you, you can't be. You can't be. You want to cope yourself into thinking that, but you can't be. Your reputation is terrible. The people's opinion on you is terrible. Everybody who knows about you knows you as a joke. And the people that know more about you than those other people know you as a complete failure. And they happen to dislike you. And every time you're going to get a sponsorship, those people are going to go to the sponsor. And they're going to let them know what kind of a piece of shit are you. And they're going to bombard them with clips. And then they're going to send them all the shit you've done. So you actually cannot get those opportunities. You cucked yourself out of them by being a big piece of shit. Yeah, offers all the time. No. For indie games and shit like that, I don't take them. And when you take the little offers, then you get the bigger ones. Right? I, I, I'm, I could be doing it. No, I you refuse. can't be doing it. I don't it. want to do that. No, you can't be doing it. That's kind of factual. You can't be doing it. You want to think that you can be doing it so you can feel good about yourself and you can get the moral high ground, but you can't be doing it. I want to be someone who makes meaningful content. Meaning is very subjective. Not someone who ad advertises to you all day, every day. I get comments that I do meaningful content, and all I do is shit on this guy. What's up, everyone? Just testing out a YouTube short. Oh, the YouTube shorts. The shorts hypocrisy. Phenomenal. I just and I talked about this on the previous stream, but I think that's going to be a super cut, so it's okay. Beat Midnight Fight Express. I got him. I got remember, him. Uh, like the videos you enjoy and leave comments. <laughs> it's bullshit. It's bullshit. Look at the people. I mean it now. Look at the people who get those offers. I, I challenge you. Look at the content creators who always have hashtag ad okay. at the end of half of their fucking tweets okay. and posts. But that's why the hashtag ad is there. So you can know they got paid for it and you can take what they say with a grain of salt. Because that's just how life works. Do you think all those ads on TV are all amazing? And every single product is amazing? No, a bunch of them are pieces of shit. But they can't tell you they're pieces of shit. Because that's what an ad is. It's promotional material. They pay people to promote it in a positive way. And it's up to you if you want to consume the product because you're supposed to have a brain. You're supposed to have an opinion. Right? You're not supposed to consume. You're not supposed to just blindly buy stuff. Look at them. And then compare them to someone like me. Okay. Right? Yeah. Uh, I would much rather be any of them. I would much rather watch any of them. Because with them, it's transparent to see, okay, this is an ad, I'm going to take it with a grain of salt. And look at the content we put out. You'll see a startling difference. You will. You'll see a stark, harsh difference between the two of us. Of course. And you're going to understand the difference between people who put out things because they care, people who put out things to make a buck. Oh, yeah, because you know? he cares so much. So, guys, here's the thing. Here's we got a thing. ton of super chats tonight. Oh, get a load of this. What a beautiful cut. What a beautiful cut. It cuts right... To the begging from from him saying that he does it out of passion because he cares and now we're talking about super chats and tips beautiful cut shout out sunspot gallery please go in and drop us up to this channel come on this is the best recap channel that exists currently the best one go go and drop us up immediately i'm very grateful for that but we are trying to you know Keep the lure streak alive and the get a hundred dollar streak tips so I can put on the hat and add a lure. <laughs> and none of these super chats the count towards that. You guys know that, right? The lure streak. Guys I would much rather every single day look at somebody that has has hashtag ad in their video that doesn't ask me to keep the lure streak alive than this fucking dude. It's been very generous super chats tonight. I'm okay with that. That's gonna help the channel long term. But we were, you know, aiming to try to keep the goal going. And I feel bad because now we have $91 in Super Chats and then none of them are counting towards the goal. And we only none have of them are counting towards the goal. You can count them though. You can count them. Why not? It's still money that you're going to get eventually. Yeah, you're going to get a smaller cut, but it's still money that somebody gave you because they care about you. And the people that care about you are not many of them. There are not many of them left. So count it towards the fucking goal. 
Why not? Fuck it. It's still money. Dollars and tips, so we are way far away from hitting the goal. <laughs> so thank you guys for the super chats. Really, they're going to help this channel in the long term, and this channel needs the help after losing all that income last month with those false copyright strikes. But I just want to make everyone aware we got about a little bit over an hour left on tonight's stream. In fact, in a minute, I'm going to split the part for YouTube. I'm going to split the, the part. Again. But, you know, we are a far cry from keeping the, the lure uh, streak alive. The lure streak alive. <laughs> the lure streak. It's literally at two. The streak is two. And the dude is acting like it's 500. <clears throat> All right, guys. So. We are halfway through tonight's stream. What would I like to say? Thanks for chilling. Look, uh, Thanks for the interaction. since you, you, Dead School is asking me if uh, it's better than the Steel Toe Beggars. Look, man, DSP, at least to some extent, has some sort of an excuse, right? He's a narcissist. He literally can't do better. He has The only thing in life he has is to cope and to hope. That's all that he has in life. And that other dude, the fucking, uh, I forgot his name. That dude, he thinks he's better than DSP. And he shits on DSP and in the same breath, he begs for tips. So I don't fucking know who's better. You should make your own mind. Action. Thanks for the great conversation. The 60 likes and climbing. Thanks for that. 60, <laughs> 60 likes and climbing. $93 <laughs> in Super Chats. Wow. Thank you for that. Quite frankly, everything is good tonight except tips. Everything tips is, is good except the one thing that I wanted to be good. Everything is good. Oh, and that's the thing that we need <laughs> to hit that hat goal and make a new lure happen. All right? Make a right new now, lure happen. Yeah, the Please. lure streak. I haven't actually seen him once put on the hat with the lures. I don't even know how that looks like. That's how shit this streak is. It's kind of not happening. And if you're interested in seeing you continue, you know, swing by and support if you can. And again, swing if you guys are going to support, support the stream and you want to see it happen, tip. All right. Let's see. 18 bucks. Okay. I don't okay. know if anyone knew who's going to swing by or not. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Danger. Danger. To support in any way. <laughs> but it's been 25 minutes. 25 minutes. Now we're getting a count. I remember initially when it was. Um, Actually, when it was like, we haven't got any tips within the last hour, you guys. And then it was 45 minutes. And now it's 25 minutes. Damn. We got our, our last tip. So again, uh, do I think DSP would hit every single goal if the if he counted super chats towards the goal? Uh, you know what? Then I think the trolls would stop super chatting him. And those people with the strange names that are like meme names, like Cat is fat and like Jasper is gay and stuff like that, those people would stop sending him super chats. They would just troll him in chat because they wouldn't want to help towards the goal. So he would kind of be doing himself a disservice. Plus, that money is money that he gets in two months. So for him, it's not real money yet. It's only real money when he gets it, when it's in his bank account. Until then, it's just some hypothetical money that is good, but is not good enough. There are different, different levels of money for him. Great. It's not all equal. Not all money is equal to Dark Side Phil. If, uh, some money know, if actually has a low value. It's like it's a different currency. It's like it's a Venezuela currency. So it has a, a lower value. If anyone was going to contribute further if you could do that. You know. All right. Cool. All right. Let's continue. The biggest tip I've ever received. I want to say 2000 bucks. Seriously. I think that was many <laughs> years ago. Probably like two to three years God ago. Damn. That, that dude must have had massive buyer's remorse. Imagine doing giving DSP $2,000. Imagine this, not spending it on yourself, even if you have a lot of money. That's the interesting thing. Even if you have a lot of money, it's like, why wouldn't you spend it on yourself? Just just get yourself anything, man. Why would you just give it to Dark Side Phil? Just get yourself anything. You know what? You can go on Twitch and find somebody with like five views and give them that money. That dude will remember you for the rest of your life. And he will be so fucking grateful because you, you swung by, you gave him a, a life-changing amount of money for that person. And it would probably motivate them to continue streaming for the rest of their life. And it would, it would be such a positive influence. But no, instead you're going to give it to the most ungrateful piece of shit that exists on earth. That's going to forget about it 
right after he spends the money, he's going to forget that it ever happened. Why would you even do that? Why would you do that? Even if you like him. Um, I want... Because I think at this point, at this point, he is 40. It's not all lost. His life is not over. He can always try and get some job and get back on his feet. But you're doing him a massive disservice if you keep enabling this lifestyle. He needs to come back to Earth. He needs to come back to life and actually find his way through life himself. Because he's being so enabled. He's being so enabled that he's completely um, dependent on everybody else for his life. So imagine something happens to, to Jasper, to Kat, to DSP. They have to go to the hospital, right? And in the U.S., the, the healthcare system is great. So they'll have to pay a massive amount of money. And he's fucked. He is, is screwed. He can't get any credit. He, I don't know if, how his insurance work or whatever. He's fucked. He needs to beg. He needs to beg. And if people don't help, he's completely fucked, man. He's fucked. So the best thing that people that like him can do is actually not give him money. So he can go and get out, get a fucking job and find his way through life and figure things out while he still has time and he's still physically capable to do something. Because in 10 years, he's going to be completely screwed. In 10 years... He's going to own nothing, and he's going to be good for nothing. He can't get any job, and he's completely done. He's finished. And there's nothing he can do but go back to his parents and just live there. And, of course, he has to admit defeat in front of the trolls because that's why he lives. He lives to spite the trolls. That's, that's all he does. That's what he li his life has become. I want to say that was it. I could be wrong. But I would say that's about. I don't recall getting anything anything bigger than that. I don't recall. And like I said, that's happened. imagine getting two thousand dollar tip in in. Imagine not remembering the biggest tip you've ever got. That's fucking insane. Maybe once ever. I've got a few a few tips around the thousand dollar range over the years. Yes. But definitely, I think two thousand bucks was the biggest. I think. Says it was during your Jasper stream. No, I don't remember. I don't no, remember. I don't remember. No, the Jasper stream was a thousand. That wasn't two thousand. Don't say you don't remember. Come on, everybody fucking remembers. The Jasper from from Planet Jeff. Planet Jeff sent him a thousand dollars because he wanted to send him a thousand dollars anyways, and he waited for the end of the stream so Phil can make as much money as possible and then get a thousand dollars on top of that. So he got two thousand dollars in total, but that was not the most he's ever got. Like he just said, he got $2,000 of one tip. One tip. These are, I don't, I really, here's the thing. My mind doesn't think that way. It's not thinking, oh, what's the biggest contribution I got? And is it, it doesn't, I don't, I don't remember those things. How do you not remember those things? Even like based on appreciation. Because I remember those things. The biggest one I've, I've got, I think, is like a 50 bucks, I think, is the biggest one I got. You guys would those things aren't hard to forget. Those things matter a lot. When somebody sends you a lot of money just because they like you, that means a lot, and you should remember that. Definitely remember them over me. Did I get paid two thousand dollars to show Jasper on stream? No. Here's what happened. All right. Let's I was see teasing what something. I wanted to reveal my cat on stream. All right. But the thing was, purposely, I didn't tell anyone about Jasper for a while. Okay. Because we were actually going to Connecticut for a trip. <clears throat> to visit my parents and to get married and people were actually talking really nastily about bringing it to my house and all that is not true nobody was gonna do that that i remember exactly what happened with this but let let him uh let him go through with that because i remember everything kinds of fucked up stuff on the internet so we basically wanted to keep all kinds of stuff um secret no now first of all there was this thread on Kiwi Farms, and Kiwi Farms is soon gonna go back online so you can check it out yourself. It was called the Super Secret Rehouse, which was basically a, a parody thread, a satire thread, based on people trying to do some operation to break into DSP's house while he was away in Connecticut, right? And it was all jokes. It was all jokes. It was jokes about people like 
uh, dropping with uh, parachutes through his chimney and like being airdropped with helicopters and breaking into the house with shotguns and stuff like that. None of that shit was serious at all. It was a complete joke and it was allowed on Kiwi Farms because it was a joke. If it was an actual plan, it would not be allowed. It would be deleted immediately. So it was totally a joke, and this motherfucker took it for real because he wants to be a victim. Nobody was planning to break into his house because his house is in a gated community. So if you break in there, you're going to get busted by the cops. And nobody wants to be the guy who gets busted by the cops for trying to break into DSP's fucking house because that's really, really stupid. So anyways, people were, were doing their, their thing there, and DSP made it sound like a big deal uh, because at that point he was hiding having a cat and why was he hiding having a cat because at this point he was pretending like it was too hard for him to pay his bills and that's why it was very inconsistent for him to have an actual cat and then pretend like he can't pay his bills because you know pets cost money to have so it would be pretty inconsistent so let's see the rest of the story. So uh, I settled the thing with planning to break into his house. That's absolute bullshit. That would never happen. Until we felt it was the right time. So many months later, we revealed that we had Jasper. But what I said was I was going to do a special event. Okay. And during this event, we hit a goal. All right. That I because I needed help back then. You know, it was it was like I think it was like no kidding. It was like a thousand dollar goal or something like that. Yeah, it was. It wasn't something like that. It was a thousand dollar goal. Um, I would do a big reveal for the streams that could possibly be something that would be a positive addition to my streams moving forward. All right, so he branded it as something very positive for the streams. That it would be, dude, it was so fucking positive for the streams. People guessed immediately that it was a pet, specifically a cat. He said no. Uh, if you want, you can go check out the uh, Ex Mortis A Beggar Journey, and you can find exactly the clips. And then DSP went and had an interview with a quartering who uh, I'm just going to not have an opinion about him. I do have an opinion about him, but never mind. Not going to get derailed. Anyways, he had an interview with a quartering where he was like, dude, I knew that if I asked people for support, they would just support me. They would give me the money if I asked them to. And I was planning on showing him Jasper anyways, even if I didn't hit the goal. And then he hit the goal. And after he hit the goal, Planet Jeff gave him $1,000 on top of the goal. And then that's where the meme with Jasper 2K came from. That's where the meme came from. That's how I kind of pitched it. it wasn't because he got $2,000 for a reveal that he would have done anyways. And, oh, it's a piece of equipment. I didn't necessarily say what it was going to be. I was purposely ambiguous because I didn't want people to know I had a cat. And then, essentially, you know, everyone hyped it up to be something it wasn't. I didn't do that. Other people did. And then finally, when the stream yeah, happened... Yeah, I mean, I, I don't have much to go on a rant about. It's just the quartering did an interview with DSP just because DSP is a lol cow and DSP bought into that because he thought he would get something positive out of it and all that happened is the quartering got his views and DSP got jack shit he didn't get anything anything and he thought that he would have man the internet is turning their their opinion around about me they actually like me now none of that happened none of that happened People were generous, and we ended up hitting the goal, and I had Jasper come in. He was on stream for a giant segment of, of the show. And Jasper came in. He was on stream for a giant segment of the show. That's some bullshit. Now, he is part of my streams. You know, I'm not He is a him. part of my streams. Yeah, that we know he exists. That's, That's how he's a part of your streams. We know he exists. That's about it. Just as much as, as any, anyone's cat is a part of their streams. Steve of the Dead, his cat is just as much... A part of his streams, a part of his videos, as, as Jasper is a part of DSP streams. Except Steve didn't ask for $2,000 to reveal his cat. It just kind of exists. Shout out to Steve, by the way. He has a new video about the, the Champions thing. You should go check it out. I think uh, I can show it to you, but you need to go figure out uh, yourself. Steve of the Dead. And I fucked it up because I'm drunk. But anyways, 
Uh, here it is, the Champions Reveal Extravaganza Part 2. I'm going to watch it when I'm at work someday. And this, by the way, I want to watch this short because he gets really pissed off. I love him. I love him when he's pissed off. Shout out to Steve. Uh, this is not going to fit on the screen properly, but fuck it. L uh, listen to this. So let's say that you're a teacher. You have a class of about 30 students. This is about a percentile. DSP using percentile. This is a genius short. I have to give them all a test of about 70 questions long. And then once they've all done the test, you need to go over all the results. And you find out what's the result that the top 20% of your class got. That number, that value, that result becomes the 80th percentile. It is the point where 80% of the, the participating body, your data, does not reach. The 90th percentile is the result where 90% of your students did not reach. The 95th percentile is the score that 95% of your students does not reach. Percentile does not mean percentage, Phil. It is a defined <laughs> thing. It is a point in amongst your data. It has a definition in statistical analysis. It does not mean percentage, so this is the best short. Actually, the best short is uh is Shinko shorts. Shinko shorts kill it, man. Wait, let's watch some Shinko shorts. There's some some good shit, man. Look at this, the the new one. Three thirty. Like, what are we gonna do? We had nothing to do. We ended up like walking around Home Depot. You know, we had nothing to do. <laughs> Tonight the music seems so loud I wish that we could lose this crowd Maybe it's better this way We'd hurt each other with this So like a uh, alpha male edit Some alpha male edit Oh my god, big up Shinko Let's go back to this Asian cats are working, comes in, you contribute to the love him um, But of course my haters spun it Oh, you see? Phil said for two thousand dollars. Oh, your haters spun it. Bring a cat on stream. And no, nobody said this. That, 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 no, nobody said this. The facts as are thus, right? The facts are thus. He asked for a, a thousand dollars to reveal a mystery thing. Everybody guessed it was a cat, or at least a, several people guessed it was a cat, right? He said it wasn't a cat. Explicitly said it. It was not a cat. Then it turned out to be a cat after he got $1,000. Then he got $1,000 more right before revealing the cat. And that's how the cat's name is Jasper2k because it took him $2,000 to reveal it. In, in actuality, it took him $1,000 to reveal it. But the second thousand came right after the first thousand, which makes me think he was kind of prearranged and the dude was gonna give it anyways, but he was waiting to see how the stream was gonna go, okay? So DSP could get the most money possible. That's the thing. Never happened. It never it's not happened. What happened at all. But they like they like to, to spin things in a way that makes. They like to spin things, and the dude just literally lied about the whole story. He told the fucking quartering. He told him that he was gonna reveal it anyways. Even if he got ten dollars, he was gonna reveal it, which was a load of bullshit, by the way. Sound way, way more awful than it really was. You see? Way more awful than it really was. Is it better that it took you a thousand dollars to reveal a cat? Is that better? Does that make it everything much better that it took you a thousand dollars? A thousand dollars. That's a one with three zeros. And I'm drunk as fuck. I, I can still make the numbers, right? One with three zeros after it. You can buy like two PS5s with that money. Like two PS5s. Maybe even some games too. And maybe even some porn on top of that. Fuck that. You can buy a bunch of shit. G. And it, this is how much money this dude asked for to show that he had a cat that he was lying about not having because he was too broke to have a pet. Does that make it better, Phil, being 40 years fucking old and doing all these fucking scams? Does that make it better? Okay, it, it's better. It took you $1,000. Congratulations. You won. You beat the trolls again. <clears throat> Can anyone mention the last time that I did a stream with an insanely ginormous tips call? Um, it, am I supposed to respect you for this? For not having ginormous, unreasonable tips goals? Am I supposed to, like, give you a tap on the back for not doing this? Because you can't hit those goals. You have those pathetic little react streams. And you can barely get 300 bucks. 
you know you shouldn't be setting the goal that high because you're gonna get disappointed so don't be flexing when you don't make those goals that high because you're not gonna hit them anyways and you know this and what i mean by that, i mean like you know a thousand bucks yeah, a thousand bucks is absolutely unreasonable. Unless you're buying like a new PC so you can invest it in your business, it's absolutely unreasonable to sit on a stream, on a singular stream, and expect a thousand dollars while getting 200 views per video. It's absolutely unreasonable. When was the last time I did that exactly? Right? Okay. And the thing is, I used to do it like a few times a year, I would have those kind of streams. And now I don't do them anymore, but it's convenient how people don't mention that, right? It's convenient how no one wants to mention that, that things have changed and that doesn't happen anymore. But that's supposed to be by default. You deserve no respect for this. You deserve nothing for this. You deserve no cloud for this, for not asking for a lot of money. Because you still ask for a lot of money. You expect at least $200 every single day. And if you don't get them, you turn into a pissy little bitch. And you cry about it, and you put it in your daily wrap, and you complain about it. Come on, you don't deserve any respect for, for not asking a lot of money. You don't deserve any respect. Instead, you just want to remember that, oh, I used to have to do that stuff, you know, to make ends meet, right? Yeah, you still do that shit. You just can't, you physically don't have the capacity to get that much money. You don't. Well, guys, it's been 45 minutes since we oh, had a tip. beautiful. Another beautiful cut right into begging. Uh, I don't know what happened this week. The last two weeks we did really well. And the hat, you know, lure goal went went well. And this week, I don't know what's happened. We've come to a stand. We haven't even gotten 100 likes. Not even 100 likes. likes. Now we're begging for likes. You still haven't even hit the likes. Drop a like, by the way, if you like this. Because I'm drunk. I like this a lot. This is one of my favorite streams in recent memory. Because uh, recently I stopped smoking, so I opened up to drinking a little bit more. Because smoking and drinking doesn't mix that much. Goal yet. So I'm not sure what's happening this week compared to the last two. Uh, I apologize. I, I really don't want to sit here and harp on tips all night. I don't. We had a good supportive night with... Uh, oh! We've had a good supportive night with Super Chats, so I don't want to sit here and be like, feel ungrateful or act or sound ungrateful. Um, but we're just not going to have the hat or lure, you know, if things don't pick up very soon. But the way that the streams are set up today, <laughs> we have multiple reward goals, right? On any stream, I can hit a goal, and it's a great thing if I do. No, no more boof. There's no more boof, because I want to save up some money now and spend it on myself and not on trash. But there's no major pressure to be hitting oh, it. That shit costs too much, and I, I already make enough money from my job. I don't want to be spending it on fucking garbage. On every stream. With the vest streak, it was I like... I want to spend it on cool shit for myself, and like equipment, and like uh, capture cards and shit. I don't want to spend it on fucking weed. Every stream, oh my god, he's got to hit the vest streak. He's got to hit it. If he doesn't hit it, it's the end of the street. There was so much annoying pressure and suspense that it You took... put that pressure, though. You put that pressure on everybody. You decide how much pressure you put. Because you can just shut up and not mention it, and that's it. You put that pressure. It's He's acting like everybody else putting pressure on him. Priority over the things I was doing on the stream, and I didn't like that. Today, it's not really like that. Today, is not like, like that. Like, look, right now. We got about half an hour left on the stream. <laughs> we have literally $18 in tips out of $100 needed to keep that lure goal going, that lure streak. Is anyone freaking out? Is anyone freaking out? No. no. But you're talking about it, though. You're talking about it. You're mentioning it. You're asking for it. You're mentioning likes. You're mentioning tips. You are, you are mentioning it. Am I freaking out? Looks like that might be the case. No. <laughs> Guess who we got? Shout out my buddy Aaron, my best friend, Aaron Stilto. It's not a big deal. I wow. know that I get support in general. I Dude, I fucking love these videos. This is the best fucking channel alive. A lot of support on my streams. <laughs> Having a slow stream or two <laughs> isn't a big deal for tips. We already got a ginormous super chat night. This dude out right? of nowhere. Out of nowhere. So I'm not going to sit here and complain. Not going to sit here and complain. When you bring up something that you don't like, uh, and you attract attention to it, congratulations, you're complaining. Oh, and he's gone. Where did he go, you guys? He's looking at that fish. That's very nice. That's a positive-ass fish. It's a nice fish. And he, I don't know why he made his character like that. Look at the, the body type of this character. It's very specific. 
It's not like this is not how DSP looks really. He's not kind of fat like that. He's like kind of unhealthy skinny. And I I know I'm I'm skinny as fuck, but I've always been skinny. But he's like like a dude who loses weight like very unhealthy. I don't know how to call it. Okay, is he going to be back? Okay. Oh, he's back. Okay. All right. Uh, well, I've been watching this like 20 minute video for the last hour and a half, I feel like. I guess I'm going to put the lures <laughs> away. I took them out, but I guess we're, there's a zero chance we're hitting the tips goal for tonight. Let me just put them back into the closet. Oh, and we're putting <laughs> it back into the closet. I And I've seen some uh, like Twitter theories about this, about uh, DSP just coming out of nowhere and being like, okay, you guys, we're not hitting the goal. So maybe was he talking to some pay pig behind the scenes? And he got a like a verification that he that that wouldn't happen, and the pay pig wouldn't give him money. I don't know, man. We haven't had a tip in an hour. It's it's literally oh, been no. a whole hour since. What about the pressure you just talked about? That there's no pressure. What about that? And now we're putting pressure again. There's no tips in an hour. I'm very confused, DSP. You're sending me very mixed messages. We got a tip. There's no way that we're going to hit the goal tonight. <laughs> it's no way it's happening. It would be 80, $82 in tips to hit the goal and get a lure for the hat. It's not going to happen in the next uh, 20 to 30 minutes. Not even. It's about 20 minutes. This is very confusing, though, because if you remember the vest goal, the dude used to get, like, big tips within the last, like, 10 minutes of the stream. Somebody would just show up and be like, boom, it's like a $35 tip. And he, that's exactly what he needed to hit the goal. It's very fascinating. Uh, but now, apparently, it's not happening because uh, he knows so. Slipped on the stream. It's not happening. So, might as well just uh, accept that and just have some chill fun fishing for the end of the night and talk with you guys. Have some chill fun. This yeah, phrase no that is very fucking bizarre, man. Chill fun is such a bizarre abstract phrase. Because I don't know what chill fun even means. Another awesome fishing stream. Seriously. <clears throat> I will do a bubble blow for you guys, okay? Because we hit the 100 likes. <laughs> Absolute last the chance for anyone blow. who wants to contribute in the any way. The bubble blow, I love it so much. Tips the bubble blow is such a symbol of DSP being a pathetic shill. There is, there is nothing that, that makes him more of a shill than blowing bubbles for likes. Because, like, uh, okay, money is one thing. Money is one thing. But doing stuff for likes is literally what the shills do. Like, actually begging for likes and doing stuff for likes is literally what the shills do. And it's one of my favorite DSP gimmicks. Because, okay, money, I'm, I'm willing to give him the benefit of the doubt, all right? This is what he does for a living. This is his only source of income because he's too pathetic to do anything else in his life that is worth a damn. But likes? Likes? Blowing bubble for likes? Humiliating yourself for fucking a thumbs up on YouTube? Give me a fucking break. You're a joke, DSP. To keep this lure streak going, but keep the lure wow, streak I don't know going. what happened with tips tonight. That they, they literally stopped over an hour ago. But everything else continued. They stopped. We got it's like a got conveyor belt. Super chats. It's how odd that just the tips. What do you mean? It's <laughs> the dude is so fucking confused, man. It's not like a tip is something that somebody sends you like completely willingly and knowingly. He acts like it's some weird automated thing. Like it's some system. It's like some. Uh, it's like some robot that sends you a, a tip. And then you're like, dude, the robot bro broke. I'm not getting any tips right now. Well, it's it's nothing like that. And also, that's that's true, Green Lobster. It's a thumbs up that he deletes. It's a thumbs up that is gone. It's a thumbs up that is only worth anything while he's live. The moment he goes offline, that thumbs up is worth nothing because he doesn't even keep the stream up. And like I've mentioned a long time a long time ago. Uh, with Wings, before Wings got hit by those uh, copyright strikes and stuff, he used to leave his streams up, and those streams would make a decent amount of views. And DSP could do the exact same thing, just like I do, where uh, everyone who comes to the stream and watches during the stream, their view is going to remain after after the stream has been published so let's say we got a couple of hundred people come in and out of the stream along the line uh, along the 
the the stream duration right and when i publish that stream those views are still gonna stay so when the stream gets published by default it's gonna have a couple of hundred views which is a good start which is something that dsp could totally use but for some reason he really doesn't want to do it i'm very confused why i really don't understand that it's so counterintuitive and I know it's probably because he wants to upload those separate videos that are going to separately make a couple of hundred views. But that's a terrible idea because those videos, they don't, they don't bring in any ad revenue anymore. They don't make any views anymore. They're not worth anything anymore. And if anything is proof of that, it's today's stream. Today's stream was him coping over having, what, 200 views a video that's been out for like 15 hours. So obviously, this is not working out for him, but he's going to be super hard-headed, he's going to be super stubborn about it, and that's great. I really hope he keeps going like that, because that's exactly what he deserves. He deserves to be fighting with himself for the rest of his life, and him being in his own way and not realizing this. Froze like that. I hope the tips are working. No one I, said they I weren't. hope so the tips are, are working and now we, we're desperate. We're on the next level where it's like, dude, I wonder if it's working. Can you guys send me a tip just to see if it's working? Which is one of the things that I fucking hate so much about him. When he starts manipulating people into like actually like tipping just so they can check if it's working. I just didn't know it felt like tipping. <clears throat> They're all coming to it and not biting. They're running to it and not biting it. Yeah, just like the whales. Come on! They're not biting, dude. Why aren't they not biting? Are the tips not working? Yes, you can tip on mobile. Type exclamation point tip into the chat. The link pops up. Click on it. You can tip on any device. You know, desktop, mobile, whatever. <clears throat> Come on! Come on. They're not biting, dude. Come I on. Fun. I love relaxing with you guys. I really do. Oh, I love relaxing. This and is like not very relaxing, though. If you gotta bring up tips, if you gotta bring up super chats and members and stuff, that's not relaxing. That's not really chill. Not for, for any of us. I said, I'd be an asshole to complain when we had so much support outside of the tips. It was great. So, no complaints for me. It was a good night. An anonymous tipper tipped a dollar for these I just wanted to test. The dollar for tip came through. So, hey, you it see? was definitely the people Another that fucking like idiot. Tonight. Another idiot that thinks that PayPal do it doesn't work. PayPal doesn't work, you guys, so I'm going to check it out. I'm going to test it out. It wasn't that tips weren't working or anything. There of you go. course. Yeah, Take there we go. For there we go. It's too bad it was just a dollar fifty. It wasn't like a $50. They should have sent a $50 just to, to check if it works. Oh, and he, he's already at 50, but that doesn't matter because the pre-stream was miserable and he was sad as fuck, which, which is what I sign up for. I don't care if he makes 500 fucking dollars. Uh, as long as he's miserable for the longest time, I'm good for that. So, by the way, with that tip, we're at $19 in tips, guys. Because I want to see, I want to see the light right. go away from now, his eyes. That 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 hope that he got for going for for getting a bunch of money, I want to see that fizzle out. Hail Mary, eighty-one dollar tip to hit the lure goal. Now, even the the point is now. See, here's the thing. This is why I tell you guys. If we're some reverse psychology, by the way. We're using some great reverse psychology. Hey, it's King Jad is raiding. Big ups, King Jad. Big ups for uh, sending your crew this way. Welcome all the King Jad viewers. Give them a prayer hands in chat. Give them a warm embrace. We're watching the the bacon sweats for for nine eleven. It was the 9-11 bacon sweats, and they are sweaty as uh, all hell, man. We're going to hit goals. We should hit them early. Like, right now, we got an $81 Hail Mary tip. How are we going to do a poll? We have no time. An $81 Hail Mary tip. That's how we call it now. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> That's reverse psychology. Dude, I don't think... This is like uh, some flashbacks from uh, from the vest streak. Dude, I don't think we're going to hit the goal. Do you guys think we're going to hit the goal? I don't think that at all. Matter of fact, I've kind of given up. All it's going to take is a $81 Hail Mary tip. I don't think you guys have that much money, to be honest. I don't think that's possible at all. And then, out of nowhere, an $81 tip comes through. Whoa, what the fuck? But no, not this time. This streak is dead. I have to, now i got to bring out the lures. I'm going to decide which of the four to vote on. you got to have a vote. Now time's up. 
So, yeah, it's not gonna happen. It's, it's not gonna happen, Max. <clears throat> it's not gonna happen. Oh Come on. shit! Wait a it's minute. Not I'm gonna do a bubble blow. My bad. It, it can't physically happen, right? It can't happen. It's it's not a thing that's gonna happen. Do you guys think it's gonna happen? I don't think it's gonna happen. It's not gonna happen at all. All the people watching me—they're broke boys. They don't have that much money. Eighty-one dollars—that's too much money. Come nice. on. Nobody's ever given me eighty-one dollars before. Come on, you guys. Come on. My bad. Bubble blow time. Bubble I'm sorry blow about time. That. And we're gonna blow some bubbles right now. Oh, Here we look go. at this! Thank you for the likes tonight. Thank you for the likes. That mean nothing, actually. My fault. Because I have zero viewer retention, so all these likes mean nothing. Even if he got a thousand likes, they would mean nothing. There we go. Totally my fault. No, no overtime tonight. My wife's home tonight. I'd like to actually. Uh, hey, big ups, uh, more dog leader for the sub, dude. On the days Big when ups. she is home, because she has to work the next few days. Okay. She has to work the next two days. How, how many times do I have to... She was home for like a week straight, though. Anyway, I'm so that's kind of suspicious. Years old. All right? I don't have a, I'm not someone who has unlimited time. I don't have enough time to spend with my wife as it is. I'm already here on stream from 10.45 a.m. Okay. Until 9.15 at night with an hour or two between to eat dinner and It's shower. not an hour or two. He has plenty of time between. He has plenty of time between. Come on. And you work from home. Come on. All you have to do is go to the other floor. All you have to do is, is go down a set of stairs. You don't have to commute back to work. You don't have to go to an office. You don't have to wake up early and dress up and get yourself together. You roll out of bed and you sit on a stream and you happen to be late every single time. Shit, you know. So don't tell me how busy you are. You're busy by your own choice because you can't manage your time for shit. That's my day. Uh, I, it's not like, oh, Phil has all this insane amount of free time uh, that he could be spending more on stream and he's stingy with his time. I'm probably on stream more than most people. Okay, that's your okay. choice, though. That's your choice. Oh, and we got a, a, a cameo again. Looks like that might be the case. That looks like that might be the case, you guys. <laughs> I don't have time to... By the way, um, the Sunspot Gallery got a got a, a great cut of that specific show where they're they're great. Let's watch a moment of it. <laughs> Looks like that might be the case. Oh no, that's I'm a like, different oh, thing. Oh shit! Let's hit that goal. Let's hit let's that goal. Let's do an extra half hour tonight. Let's do an extra half hour, guys. Come on, let's do an extra half hour. I'm gonna drink extra tonight if we hit that goal. I have to pay one bill before my day off, bill. which is Thursday. Let's go into vacation the right way, uh, and then into tomorrow morning's show where there will be no goal. There will be no goal tomorrow, guys. Come on. Tomorrow, I'm not going to drink at all. I might stream on Twitch. I'm not going to drink at all. Let's just get the goal. Uh, I'm drinking for you guys. I'm ruining my health. <laughs> Send to the streams or whatever. You know, if anything, I should be on streams less. If I was a young guy with nothing to do, no life... No responsibilities. Yeah, no life, though. I was like, oh. What responsibilities does Phil Burnell have? His responsibilities is showing up on stream. That's all that he does. Or I'll stay on stream. It's not like he got two jobs or something. It's not like he has to clock in a shift at a supermarket or a warehouse or something like that. Or like a, a, a Zaxby's or something. Longer. Then maybe it would make sense, but that's just not the situation I'm in. I cannot stream another hour. I just said that. I said I can't stream later. You looks know, like that might be the case. Um, <laughs> he got a family, that's true. Daytime, I think? I he think needs to was... tuck his son Jasper into bed. During the daytime. And to clean up his uh, litter box. That's That takes like six hours. Tomorrow. Five to ten minutes left, we'll see. We're wrapping up for the night. Thank you for chilling with me here tonight, everyone. If anyone has a last topic they want to talk about or whatever, now would be the time. A last topic to talk about. What the fuck is that? Thanks for earning a ban for trying to encourage people to not contribute to the stream. You're an asshole. <laughs> now, last minute, someone came in and did a bunch of tips and ended up being $50 in tips by the end of the stream. Still a great stream. Zero complaints. Thank you for Zero that. Zero complaints. We didn't keep the, the hat goal going for the fishing streams. 50 bucks. That's it, you guys. That's it. You did a terrible so job. to the 50 bucks. Thank you. So now we are at... <laughs> but I'm not complaining. But uh, you guys did a bad job today, but I'm not complaining. We just didn't hit the goal, but what can I do about it? It's not like I can force you to tip. I imagine if, if he could force you to tip, it would be very interesting how that would be. At least the gunner glasses. So at least we got we got halfway. That's cool. Thank you. It's finished sad looking. Is it? <laughs> it's a sad fish. It's a sad fish. It's 
a sad Dude, this, stream. This, this is exactly what happened a couple weeks ago. So a couple weeks ago, we had we had had two weeks where the support on the on the Bassmaster streams was outstanding, like crazy high. We had hit everything, like maxed them out, right? So I said, okay, for week three, I'll buy a bunch of fishing lures, and if we hit the tips goal, the hat tips goal, I'll add lures to the hat. What happened that week? We didn't even come close. Uh oh. Then. The next week we hit it, the next week we hit it. So two weeks passed today. Oh, we got a streak going. Let me put lure streak on the leaderboard to celebrate, right? What happens? We don't hit it. <laughs> Every time that I do something special because we've hit a bunch of support several weeks in a row, then we don't hit it the next week. Oh, so you see, that's the guilt trip. That's the guilt trip. I went out of my way to buy a bunch of lures and you guys didn't support it. It's not like I'm complaining, but that's what happens. I'm just pointing out what happens. I'm not complaining at all. We stop jinxing it, seriously. I need to not do any, no ad, don't add anything, don't say shit, just fucking yeah, do Yeah, don't do anything, don't do anything. Normally, and <laughs> you know, stop jinxing, it's two, two times in a row I jinxed it. it like that. Stop jinxing it. People don't come in. Come on, you guys, say, I was drinking today, we didn't hit the goal, I'm not gonna drink ever again. Okay, everyone. <laughs> I'm kidding, right now I'm wearing like 15 hats. One, now. And, and like six vests, I'm getting real hot and sweaty. Oh, I'm going to tip Phil. Here it comes. And then they do it. They either they tip or they don't. You know what I mean? Someone who comes in here like that, it's obvious that they're probably in here looking for attention. <laughs> I love those people, by the way. The people that say that they're going to tip. The people that spam exclamation tip in chat and then they don't tip. I love those guys. You know what I mean? Because they, they, they give them so much hope. They're like, Phil, how can I tip? And they're like, oh, you can tip with the exclamation tip in chat and just then just go in PayPal and lie about your info. And uh, yeah, just just send me all your money, dude. And then they don't. Nah. <laughs> no, you didn't. Because there's nothing that came through. There was no tip from you. What are you talking about? If you tip, I get it right here through Stream Elements. So, no, you didn't tip. You're a liar. <laughs> You're a liar. Stop you fucking didn't saying tip. bullshit. Because if you say it one more time, I'm just going to ban you. <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> this is incredible. Incredible. This 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 All bacon right. sweats is amazing. And uh, by the way, uh, I want to give a massive shout out. Uh, I probably can't find it on on Twitter, but um, uh, thanks to this bacon sweats, this great fucking video. I think it was a uh, piece of peace and uh, Dominic uh, donated. I think fifty dollars each to a charity of uh, Sunspot Gallery's choice. Which uh, I'm sure it meant a lot to him because he was very, very grateful for this. And I'm very appreciative for, for them keeping up to their word like real fucking men that they are. So big ups to Dominic and peace of peace. Throw up some uh, prayer hands for them in chat. They definitely deserve it because they did a great thing and they made some bomb ass fucking content because this bacon sweats is beautiful. All right. So. All right, guys. So, great stream tonight. Great interaction. Great fun. Great, great. great support. Everything, Everything was, was great. Good. I have no complaints. No complaints. All right. I have no complaints. This was like 20 minutes of guilt tripping and begging. No complaints whatsoever. Not a single one. Peace out, everyone. Later. <laughs> Peace out, everybody. Later. And again, he, he messed up his layout by having a bunch of frames and a cam that are not grouped because he doesn't use groups in OBS because he's a boomer. DSP is offline. Rip DSP. Uh, now, should we watch the latest one? That that one is pretty... Uh, is pretty juicy. Ba, 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 ba. Um, here's the thing. Here's the thing. There's just not a lot of interest. People just aren't into it. What happened? How is that my fault? Because you're a f <laughs> Can everyone see? Can everyone see? This uh, cut at the, uh, the best time. I wish, I wish I knew what this dude said in the clip. Are we good tonight? Is everyone having a, a good time and ready for some chill fun? Hello? Okay, hello. 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 Nobody signed up for the chill fun. <laughs> the chill fun. All right, let's wait for the multiverses. I do try to get 100 likes on every stream. So if you enjoy yourself tonight, I would ask hello? you to please give the stream Chat. a like for engagement purposes. Talk to me. 
Talk to me. I'm drinking, you guys. Come on. You love me when I'm drinking. Yeah, Come really on. Thank you in advance. <laughs> talk to me. Outside. Let's talk about Drake. By the way, this this avatar is beautiful. Look at this avatar with the great T-shirt with the skull on it and a nice little like armband. And the the goatee is tight as fuck. And the the hair is balding as fuck. We got the nice uh, wrinkles on the face. A uh, three three entire wrinkles. That's a great avatar. Out of that, I have nothing else to shout out. So. For a tier tips goal, would you swallow two whole sausages like Shaggy does in his win animation? Yes. Shaboing boing. No, I will not do that. I'm not I'm not capable of doing that. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, you're not funny. The whole swallowing sausage, it's not funny. It wasn't funny at first, it's not funny now. You can stop saying the same shit over and over. <laughs> you it's can stop funny. saying it now. It's not funny. Just ignore him, man. Why do you want to shut down the discussion in in your chat and demotivate people from, from texting in your chat? A chat that is dead anyways. It's a dead chat. My coworker quit. My manager is upset to let her go. At least you're streaming multiverse. I'm sorry to hear that. Sometimes if you have a beloved coworker, someone who you, you, uh, you're friendly with, you know, someone who's a nice person, kind of, you know, lightens up your work day, and then they're not there anymore. That can be a sad thing. I totally understand that. I'm sorry yeah, to make sure that, to but... go and, and check out this Bacon Sweats if you like it, or regardless. Even if you don't like it, go check it out. It's, it's great. Because I know what happened yesterday, and he got clapped eternally. Well, I'm glad that, uh, <laughs> he got bodied Perhaps left and right. on your face tonight. All right. We're at 10. Darn, what happened to the person from last week who gifted a membership every time I won a set? Oh, no, what happened that to them? That actually helped the channel so much, darn. <laughs> darn, where did they go? Oh, well. Huh. <laughs> oh, it's a subtle bag? Okay, well, this is a subtle ban for you. It's a subtle bag. Dumb fuck. There you go. <laughs> He's a dumb because fuck. I'm happy about something that happened last week. It's a subtle bag. Yeah, fuck you. It is a subtle bag. You were like, what happened to this dude that gave me money? I wish he would give me money again. Yeah, that that is a subtle bag. And not very subtle either. <clears throat> Why would one be mad at my happiness? I don't know. What? You, you don't have I happiness, don't dude. Come on. We see you, you on the stream every day. You're not happy. You really have to be like a miserable person, I feel. Super miserable. You know? That's why I'm I drinking. I used to be miserable, and I used to be envious of people who were happy. I oh, yeah. Was. You ran whole forums on trolling people. You had a whole website about that. How miserable could you, could you be? Now, you know what? I wish everyone would be happy. Oh, yeah. me. If everyone was happy, who gives a shit? I don't, I don't care if any other people are happy. Let everyone be happy, right? Let everybody be happy. <laughs> I don't play fight games because I can't play games on PC. I'm I want everybody just... to be happy except the, the shills and people that I don't like. Same question a million times. It's a really dumb question. I've, I answered it a million times. I can't play anything on PC. My CPU maxes out. It's also the land of cheaters and laggers anyway. So there's no fucking point. Cheaters not and better. laggers really anyway. Any better. <laughs> so a tryhard essentially in an online competitive game is someone who is so focused on winning. Like to them. Even if it's like the most obscure, stupid game no one cares about, they try to pull every fucking strategy in every possible way to get the win. It doesn't matter if it's legit or not, it could be completely underhanded. As long as they get the win, they're gonna try as hard as they fucking can. You try hard winners, okay? So if it means playing the game in a way it's not meant to be played because of online lag, if it means learning using lag switches, if it means completely what? counter picking, which is not allowed in a competitive tournament, whatever it may be. Bro, this is not a competitive tournament tournament you're playing multiverses online this is not a competitive tournament and counter picking is totally okay because that's how the game is meant to be played especially when you play like online because i've played a bunch of overwatch and that's exactly how you play the game that's a strategy is to counter pick so you can make your opponent weaker so you have to force them to adapt that's why people do that all right that's try hard and it's funny because, like, I'm playing Capcom Fighting Collection, the game where there's almost no player base anymore. And okay. you got a bunch of tryhards trying to a win. A bunch of tryhards. Any... Imagine people wanting to win in a competitive game that they play online. Imagine that. Why would people want to win? Why aren't they just satisfied with losing? Way possible. Like, dude, nobody cares about this fucking game. I could give two fucks if I lose all my ranking points right now. Why are you complaining then? Why are you complaining then about lag switchers and tryhards? No, I'm not a tryhard in Street Fighter 2. If you don't, if you don't know, 
when I try to play those games, I try to pick a variety of characters. I try to pick characters that aren't considered okay. top tier. That but is your choice, though. And it's other people's choice to counterpick you so they can win because they would like to win. Everybody would like to win in a competitive game that is played online against other people. It's not even single player. Everyone I play is picking old guile and shit like that to try to just get cheap wins. It's like, dude, you didn't even put any effort into trying to learning this game. All you care about is getting a, ch a cheesy online win with lag. You know? I only I picked old guile once <laughs> the whole time I've been playing. Sounds like cope. Cope of what? Cope of what? What are you talking about? You're an idiot. Cope of you being bad. That's, that's what it sounds like. Because you blame people for all that shit for games that don't really matter and playing online shit that doesn't matter. <laughs> Coping with what? Here, cope with this. You're a fucking moron. What a great thing to say, you idiot. Oh, and that was a cope by itself because you called him an idiot, which means that he was kind of right. If he got a defensive reaction out of you like that, then he was right. You in my right. Okay. Cope with this ban. What is he doing? Is he sleeping again? When I'm playing this game, I'm not blinking as much because there's so much going on on the screen. <laughs> this is not blinking I'm... as much. <laughs> oh no, my headphones fell off. That was blinking too much, you guys. Trying not to blink so I can see absolutely everything going on. I blinked so I and my I'm headphones not fell off. To be intense, I'm looking everywhere, right? I'm looking at my character. I'm looking all around. When I'm playing Street Fighter, I'm just looking at the two characters right there. When I gotta look at this game, I gotta look at this giant big picture, everything going on at once. So I don't think I blink. I guess what it is, and then my eyes burn because of it. I think oh, that's no. exactly what Wait, it is. Wait, what? What? This is a cope. This is a cope. You you saying you're not blinking, so you're doing bad at the game, or your eyes hurt? Come on, give me a break. I think I figured it out. I figured yeah. it out. That's why I'm bad at the game, you guys, because I'm not blinking. Because I have to pay attention too much. This is some silly shit. This is some, like, actually, like, wheelchair talk. I had to think about it for a little bit, but I think I've discovered the, uh, the culprit. Then put on the glasses. Put them for free. If you're suffering, put them for free. Mm -mm. No, you guys, you need to give me $50. Derek, how did the driving go? So he practiced driving around his neighborhood. <laughs> It's fascinating to me, man, that, that he cares about so many things about Derek. It's so suspicious. It's so suspicious because Derek, he knows what Derek does. He knows that Derek is actually a very troubled individual and an actual degenerate. And he still chooses to engage with him no matter what. Derek asks a question, DSP is going to notice it. DSP is going to respond to it. He's going to ask, hey, Derek, how did the driving go? Went yeah, Derek good. is he is yeah. driving a big white van. <laughs> he's he's looking for uh, porn stars on the street. Hey Derek, did you kidnap anybody? How was dinner? Dinner was absolutely positively delicious. My wife made a homemade stew. Big ups from cat. Scratch, including from scratch, you guys. This is worth flexing over. From scratch. This is of chopped delicious beef, Yukon gold potatoes, yellow onions, carrots. God damn, um, that's Rosemary that's so cool, thyme. man. Uh, I think it was beef, a beef broth base, a bunch of other seasonings and ingredients. Seasonings and oh ingredients. Oh my god, it was really, really good. And then we had big, crusty, fresh, <laughs> uh, bakery baked bread that we dipped in the stew as we ate it. It was ridiculously good, and we have a ton of left. No, he says positively good. I think not positively food, right? Uh, I think that's what he said. Oh, we're still at 10. What happened? Okay. I couldn't control my character. I was on the ground. He hits me once with a knockback. I can't do it. Why? I can't do a B. I can't do an A. Nothing works. Nothing what works. What is it that I'm on the ground? They hit me with one random knockback. I can't control my character. It's certainly not the first time it's ever happened. There's no knockout mechanic in the game okay. where your controller turns off. <laughs> Why does that happen? This is this is me playing Dark Souls. I'm gonna show you the short that I did for Dark Souls because that 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 shit was good. Um, wait, and I'm gonna make this wrong again because I've been fucking drinking. I made a I made a short about it because I I was such a fucking baby fighting the Abyss Watchers. Look at this. It's, it's pretty short, it's just a minute we long. Did, we did the attack, and I got 60 damage. 60 damage is what I dealt. And, and he hits me one time, 
and this is what happens. This me going full on DSP. Are we actually like... And look at him, he sprints like fucking Usain Bolt. He can't even run away, like actively run away to take one sip of my fucking flask. <laughs> Quality, and now I'm dead. Look, fantastic. I have, again, I have no opening. I have nothing I can actually do. Off Offensive-wise. I have absolutely no offense. And he's flailing. Look at this guy. He's going all out. And all I can do is 61 damage. 61 damage. 61. <laughs> 61. Thanks, Dark Souls. 61 61 I beat him eventually that that very same stream that very same stream I beat him to me no I'm, flex by the way no flex want a fucking explanation to why I lose matches like that <laughs> I went full on DSP I've never seen a game make me act like this Choose nothing works literally nothing works and no button inputs it acts like all your <laughs> buttons are disabled sometimes when you get hit like that why Explain you fucking game. Tell me Explain, why I can't you control fucking my game. Because I'm tired of losing lives like that. What did I do wrong? He got one lucky hit in. Oh, that's it. Game over. You can't do a damn thing about it. Zero inputs work. <laughs> why not make them come to us? Why are you fighting them? Why not make them come to us? Is, does this have the Splatoon gameplay? Because that shit was just quality. Quality time. Oh, it doesn't have it. I go after them stupidly. What a dumb teammate. What a dumb fucking teammate. They're standing next Isn't to me. This fucking 61 fucking damage. Oh my fucking god. They're doing nothing. Let them stand down there till they're ready to come to us and bait them up. Now I'm gonna stand down there and fight them 2v1s. I'm a fucking idiot. What a genius level competitive player. <laughs> he gets blown his back out. What a terrible completely. teammate. What a terrible teammate. But when when DSP loses, it's it's the game's fault. But when uh, the teammate loses, it's the teammate's fault. You see the inconsistency? Right now, support could use a major injection. A major $11 injection. Eleven dollars in tips. Just Guys, come on. Make sure that heroin is pure. All right. <laughs> a major injection. I will do a post. I don't like doing this, but I will do yeah, a post. I... Remember, by the way, uh, there was one or two times when he was like. Uh, the, the actual tweet said, I was asked to tweet out that I'm playing this game and I need support. I was asked. That was what the tweet said. That was a fantastic tweet. Certainly would, uh, <laughs> would certainly, I was uh, asked you know, to tweet out that we're playing Elden Ring and the support was slow. It would definitely help out. Somebody in chat told him to tweet out for, for support. A ton. Uh, and it's a very slow stream tonight. So. Hey, big ups, uh, Klaus Mystery for the membership, dude. Welcome to the members. Okay. The exclusive uh, boys club and girls club. All right. Of course. Because it's an exclusive club, but it's also inclusive. Because I'm cool like that. <clears throat> tips are not the same as Super Chats. We have tips goals, not okay. Super Chat goals. We hit $50 in tips tonight. I put on the gunner glasses. It has nothing to do with Super Chats. Zero. If tips were the same as super chats, why would they be called completely different things? What? Right? That if is apples bizarre. Oranges, they'd be called apples. Why? Why don't you have a super chat goal then? Because he gets super chats pretty easy. Be but he knows he knows the trolls are gonna stop super chatting because the trolls are a pretty significant part of his super chats. I mean, excuse me. They'd be called oranges. Now you got me confused. He knows he can't make a goal for that because then the trolls would stop contributing. Those dudes would like a, a dollar super chat that just come over to tell him that he's a gambling addict. Go lose glasses. Go lose glasses. You know you can say the word gay, right? That's fine. You're, you're aware of that. It's an okay word to say. Okay. You can say it by accident or not. You can say the word what? gay. It's totally fine. <laughs> when would you say gay by accident? Oh, I remember it. I, it once happened to me too. Uh, I, I wanted to say guys and I said gays. Because you're a <laughs> Oh no, oh that's, not that's not allowed. Yeah, that's not the, the good version. That's not allowed. You can still say it. It's fine. Nothing wrong with the word. You fucking idiot. Happy yeah, it's starting to get frustrating at this point. Actually trying to play with skill and time shit and use strategy and match with like, match, 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 match. Same characters over and over now. You've noticed that. It's the same shit over and over. 
the same shit. Shaggy, same shit, different day. Bugs Bunny and fucking <laughs> Harley Quinn. Over. Dude is ranting about Shaggy and Bugs Bunny. This is the greatest streamer alive. And over is <laughs> getting salty over Bugs Bunny. Over in lag. It's pretty obvious at this point what they're going for. Choose your character. Okay. Guys, we're only at 56 likes with about 40 minutes left on the stream. It would be great. I mean, it's the one way you can support the stream without any kind of actual concerted effort or, you know, anything outside of just... What is concerted effort to support the stream? Actually, people making, like, discussions behind the scenes about giving him money? Is that concerted effort? Because that's what I would see as concerted effort. Like, like people actually gathering behind the scenes being like, okay, guys, I'm going to send him like 20 bucks and you send him 40 and then we're going to have 60 and we're getting closer to the goal. It'd be great if I could get that tonight. What is concerted effort? Yeah, this is complete bullshit tonight. I'm not having fun at all. I'm, I'm not really having not. fun at all. And then you watch his daily rap. Let's say, let's watch the daily rap. I'm not having fun at all is the actual quote. So DSP gaming, right? The daily rap. We're going to go and check that out when he was playing uh, multiverses and he was having so much fun. A mix of fun and rage. Here and welcome. Then we started off with Splatoon 3. Today's goal in Splatoon... No, we, we, skip, we skip this. Player. If I'm not getting attention on the multiplayer and people aren't really that interested in it, how on earth am I going to get people to come for a single player? Yo, 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 for real. Is this dude for real complaining about Splatoon for six minutes? Campaign down. This is like a 12-minute daily rap. Holy shit, what? Even have time for Splatoon again this year. Okay? I'm picking Gizmo, who's actually, I would say, one of the hardest characters to play with because he has a unique moveset and he's, he's uh, you know, precise with his attacks. He doesn't have giant area of And then after he's this, he went on Twitter and made a big fucking, like, a post about it. He, has little precise he made a thread about Splatoon. Movements he has to do. Velma is a hybrid of range and one good close-up combo with some some interesting mix-ups and uh, ways to kind of avoid the enemy. They take a lot of skill to use. I'm not going to lie. And I'm not trying to say I'm good at the game because I'm not. But they take a lot of skill to use. And every time I'm playing, it's like, oh, look, it's Shaggy. Side Y attack. Side Y. When I say side Y, it's okay. special. It's what special. if they like playing as Shaggy? Are you going to tell people to play as something else because you get upset playing against it? That's pretty lame, dude. And floaty special kick. And it hits everything. You know, these people are not timing. They're not using these in combos. They're just mashing things out constantly in this less than ideal online environment, and they're getting away with it. I feel like some of these moves just have insane hitboxes. <laughs> Imagine being 40 and complaining about shit like that. What kind of a life is this? They shouldn't. These big area of effect attacks. And it's like, sometimes, and I'm still having this issue, I'll be right in the middle of the stage, just standing there. Someone hits me with a knockback attack that's a strong knockback. All of a sudden, none of my buttons work. Instant elimination. Huh? What happened? What happened? I can't do a dodge. None of my buttons work. Why can't I move it all? All of a sudden, <laughs> I hear the, the error noise. Nah, 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 nah. Nothing works. Maybe they hit you too hard, man. Maybe they hit you too hard, and you're just out the level. I don't know. I don't play this game. You're just eliminated. Huh? Huh? And it happens every once in a while, and it really pisses me off, because I didn't do anything <laughs> wrong. The game just decides you're eliminated for no sure reason. Sure thing. So anyway, I've been following the game uh, on social media, and the number one, most requested thing right now is improved online play. People are complaining about this online play, claiming they. Oh, so it justifies his complaints. All right, I get it. It's terrible. It's a terrible stream. Let's see what's happening. So we're at 13 now. 13, which is basically nothing for him. He can't even get a one single poll of 1651. Not even I disagree one. Agree with you entirely. Contributions, especially for games like this, are completely different. They are. Contributions, Seriously, are contributions are different. for a game like this, they're all over the place. Sometimes there's a ton, sometimes there's none. Because what he basically said was, oh, if you play a game you absolutely love, then people will contribute. That's completely false. There's been tons of games I absolutely love, and people don't contribute at all. And on the flip side of that, there's games I absolutely fucking hate, and people contribute. So it's, it's not, it has nothing to do with that at all. Zero. Roughly a half an hour left on the stream. It would be great if we could get more support. We are running out of time, all right? I mean, right now we're at 70 likes. I can't believe we can't get more than that. Typically, we get 100 likes. Derek, I like all of the, the, the Warner brothers and the Warner sister. I don't have a preference. <laughs> what was that Derek response? Oh, we're at 23. Okay, we're starting to sizzle crazy. at this point. I have point. no idea who that is. Who is super crazy? What? 
Who is super crazy, dude? Glasses. Yeah. Headphones He's a detractor? Oh, I, I wouldn't know that. I, I pay no attention that. to any of that shit. I, I don't pay any attention to you guys. Asked, uh, <laughs> who's your favorite wrestler growing up? How much you pay attention to the wrestling scene today? Give up advice being a CM Punk fan. That was a long time ago. I haven't... I don't watch wrestling anymore. I stopped watching it about two years ago during COVID. Completely cold turkey, and I haven't seen a single match since. I follow the trends on Twitter, and that's it. So I know what's going on, but I don't actually watch the wrestling anymore. Uh, when I was a huge fan back in the day, Hulk Hogan and Macho Man were my favorites, along with a few others. And then I was a fan of the 90s, and it was like Bret Hart and HBK. And then Attitude Era, I didn't watch at all. Uh, and then after a while there, I like Jericho, I like uh, CM Punk. Wow, look at this lag. Well, thanks to anyone who contributed in any way tonight. 77 likes. I guess that's where we're going to leave it. You over 260 people. 77 likes. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, maybe they don't like the stream. Come on, they don't have to. No one cares about my opinion about this game. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Oh, so wow. <laughs> This is him coming to the obvious conclusion that people don't care about his opinions. Right? Because they're shit, and they're misinformed, and they're biased. Let's be honest. People are going to watch shorts before my schedule. People will watch shorts for something funny from the stream. People don't want to see, oh, here's a short on Phil's opinion on multiverse is lagging. No one cares. No one listens to me as an authority on any game online. So. Oh. Oh, that is sad. No one listens to me as an authority. Why do you keep putting out your opinion, then? Nobody Thank listens to my opinion, $2 guys. Tip. So let's end the night on a high. What was this censored, though? <laughs> was this like How a the fuck? Twice the Bible break right to his fucking body. Twice. Bullshit, dude. Fuck this fucking game. Twice the light bulb goes through the body. No connection. No I thought con you were a fucking character, DSP. I thought this rage was a character. Why are you still not being a character? Connection, but we could spare him. Fuck this fucking game. 61 damage. And then it hits me. <laughs> fucking bullshit. Oh, fucking bullshit, I'm tired dude. Of this shit. I earned that win. They were directly above me, and I hit them twice with the light bulb, and it passed through their fucking body. The fucking connection suck. Fuck this. Choose your character. Yes, this pisses me off when I have a win earned. You're working your ass off, not spamming like these idiots, but you're working your ass off to put together a fucking game plan to win an online match. Oh, yeah, everything... so this is so uh, a whale doesn't make it into the video. That's actually a good point. That's a that's a good one. So they, they don't get the attention, so fuck them. Fuck those whales. Miss, miss, miss right through their bodies. Fuck this. They don't deserve the Complete notoriety. nonsense. How many shaggies did I fight tonight? Seriously. You know, <laughs> How many the same shaggies, guys, dude? the same kind of bullshit hits that stay out there lingering with giant effect. Mashing, mashing, mashing. Nothing timed, no combos, nothing. Stay salty. It's frustrating as fuck. Stay super salty. Just keep those powers contained. Finally a win. Yeah, I know. I, I did listen to the, the Jaha episode of that being said. I couldn't be there because I had uh, severe COVID, quote unquote severe. Uh, but yeah, I did listen to the whole thing. Plus, I, I didn't have anything to add to it because I don't know anything about uh, FGC. But that was a fantastic episode. I would encourage everybody to go check it out. He did want to do cr crotch chops to the crowd when Viscant wanted to fight him. And Viscant didn't agree to that. So they didn't do anything. Uh, anything like that at all. No rematch? Aw, oh, man. All right. Yes, uh, we will do 100 like bubble blow. Oh, never mind. We're at 99 likes, so no bubble blow. No bubble blow. Sorry, I was going to do it, but then so people took their likes away, so now we don't get it. <laughs> they take their likes away. I love this gimmick, man. Please take all your likes away. Please do that. That's so great. That That is great. I would I would even love it if, like, trolls go there and and drop a bunch of likes in the beginning of the stream and DSP is like, oh my god, we're already at like 80 likes. And then they all take take back their likes. He gets so salty over that. Like, irrationally salty. Because that's exactly what people are trying to get for. That's exactly the reaction they want. And they get it every time, man. It's so good. Totally gonna do it, but it's gone. Alright, now we have 102 likes and so I will do a bubble blow. Alright? Yeah, Ready, let's get the, the bubble blow going on. Ready? Here it comes. Prepare yourself. Amazing. Amazing. 
It is amazing. He should do something else for likes, not blowing bubbles. This is too humiliating. Celebratory bubble blow. Now, uh, don't hold back, don't. And now the likes went away. I suck the suck the bubbles back in. Suck them in. Suck oh, those bubbles back. Suck them back. No buttons work. Fuck this fucking game, man. <laughs> fucking do something. I press every button. Zero reaction. He's so salty, man. So fucking salty. And this like a 40-year-old man. Come on. Come on. Nope. Wrong fucking direction, of course. Even though I'm holding left, it gives me right. Again! I'm holding right, it gives me left. I can never get it to go the right direction. Now I can't control the fucking character! Come on! Come on! And we're at 38, man. Things are getting really, really scary at this point. 38, that's not a good one. And I'm, I'm, I might check out the, the Splatoon gameplay, because that shit was good. That was... Uh, just as much salt as this. I can't get a simple left-right input to work, and then I can't control the character at all drops all inputs in a fucking row. You laggy piece of shit. Blue team. And don't even get me started with, oh, they hit you with a, uh, you know, a knockback attack in the middle of the stage. <laughs> None of your buttons work all of a sudden. You're instantly eliminated. That's fucking terrible. Yeah, make sure to go check out the, the, the bacon sweats. Drop a like. Give them the view, give them the watch time. You can go to sleep and let the video loop so you can give them even more more views. Come on, let's do this. All right, at least we got a bunch of wins there to end the night, guys. Thank you. You know, I'm very angry at the game's netcode. I'm not angry at the game. The game itself is very good. The online play, yeah, needs to be improved. And they did say they are going to work on this next. They said this is one of the big things they're going to work on is improving the online play next. So, all right, so guys... Thanks to those who chilled, and thanks to those who did support the stream in any way. Incidentally, the, the Super Chats were good. They were like 75 <laughs> Super Chats super were chats good. tonight. Thank you guys for that. Um, so, thank you for chilling. Thank you for supporting in any way. I appreciate that. All right? Until next time, whenever it may be, this game will continue. I'm just not sure when yet. Okay. Damn. Well, that's that's it. That's Ugh. it. All right, guys. I'm sorry for getting upset. I do. You know, I get upset when I play online. Sorry games and for it's getting upset. Shit. I can't get my stuff to come out. It really pisses me off. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, DSP, uh, Splatoon three, and hopefully somebody made a video about it. Uh, yeah, I think is it the duty one? Uh, does that have thing? Is it this one? Is it? This one, this five days ago, this 21 hours ago. Okay, let's uh, let's give it a shot for the, the duty one. But let's skip this rant, because I want to see the gameplay. I'm not sure if that's going to work. It doesn't help that you no. suck at this. By the way, this is, I think, about three or four minutes of him straight playing and just dying over and over again. And the game, it, all, the whole game, it was the whole stream, it was the same exact way. I have no idea how this game works, by the way. I don't play Nintendo stuff, but I just know I'm getting salty from it. Damn, he's just out of range. You saw that? He was literally just out of range. He is. I can't hit him. Is this a mid-range gun? Part yeah, I can't get him. Look. Oh, wow. So that is definitely a disadvantage of the blaster. You really have to be close. Even his, his dynamo roller outranged me there, and there's nothing I can really do about it. All right. Anyways, this platoon shit is uh, is salty as fuck. If I can find something that is shorter, then that's gonna be cool. But if not, then I'm just gonna be off. Cause uh, I've been taking too many sips, and it's it's starting to affect me, you guys. The oh, I think it might be this one. This one is from six days ago. Ladies though. and gentlemen, welcome to Splatoon Three. Okay, let's We're check. We're just it out. beginning. I literally haven't done anything yet. We all know that DSP is a violation of YouTube of uh, Nintendo's guidelines. Of course, so let's it is. Let's accept into big trouble. You need to be level four to shop here. They're gatekeeping the store. Try it. So what is this? Unlimited ink? Is that is supposed to be of unlimited ink when you're in the circle. Yeah, but there's no point no. though. Does anyone there's know no point though. Why is he trying to get the the spot that is already has paint on it to have more paint? Circle does. What does this do? 
Aren't they the same music, just remixed? I remember this song. Ah, I got killed. Yeah. All right, this dude is terrible. Let's check out this video. What will DSP say next? Is this like a challenge? Is this like a game? What will DSP say next? Okay, let's play the game. I dodged, didn't work. Oh my god, come on, that was bullshit or nothing I could do, the camera fucked up. Okay, so blue or red? Let's uh, let's see what you guys think about that. And you can go check out this video. It's called, uh, what will DSP say next? I can try and send it in chat. Is it red? Is it nothing I could do? Or, oh my god, the game was bullshit. Okay, most of the people are saying red. Red. Uh, I think most of them are red, but some people are saying blue, dude. I can't even count it. Okay, now most of them are saying blue. I'm very confused. Okay, remember what you said. Let's see what, what the actual answer is. Uh, my pick is... Uh, I think it's red, because the camera low-key kind of fucked up. Okay, what is he going to say next? Drum roll. Oh, it was red. Congratulations to, to Team Red. Let's see, round two. Okay, we're playing um, Battlefront 2. Kill assist, no credit. Kill assist. Kill assist, no credit. Well, you got credit for the assist, boy. And what is he gonna say now? Blue is, oh my god, I only got one kill. And red is, uh, that was bullshit. Ack, ack, ack. Let's see. Blue or red, chat? Let's see. Oh my god, I only got one kill. Or that was bullshit. Ack, ack, ack. I think that one might be blue. Because he only got one kill. And he wanted to get more. Oh my god. And it was I blue. Only one kill. Only Congrats, Team Blue. Let's see the next one. Round three. Why does this have only six views? Make sure to go check it out. Let me just send it in chat. What will... DSP say next because this is a good idea for an interactive thing um, is this from eight days ago I think it's not but uh, I, I'm gonna send a whole thing for the playlist right because there's a playlist with a, a lot of them so make sure to go check them out and play the game by yourself okay all right let's see this one he's playing what is this smash brothers super smash uh, oh no, it's multiverses. Let's see what we got. Okay, what is he gonna say next? It's so laggy. It's bullshit. Is the blue choice. Red choice is come on. The rollback netcode fucked me. Oh, uh, for this one, I don't know, man. I think it might be laggy. Because, uh, I don't think there's rollback in this game. So, Lock in your choice. Make your pick for the team. Red or blue. It's very important. And the answer is it's so blue. Laggy. Bullshit. It's so laggy. Now. It's bullshit. Congratulations, team blue. Now we go round four. We're playing... Uh, what is this? Dark Souls. No, oh, no. This Elden Ring. It's one of the, the, the great bosses in Elden Ring. What is he going to say next? It's so fucking delayed. Or this sucks. I wasn't ready for it. Blue is delayed and red is this sucks. Lock in your choices. All right. All right. Giving you a second to make up your mind. And let's see. Let's see which one is gonna be, and it is red. This sucks, I wasn't ready for it. I didn't make a lock on this one, but uh, congrats for whoever won. You don't win anything, but you get to know that you are right. And now we're playing GTA San Andreas Definitive Edition. Let's see what's gonna happen. He has barely any health, and he's shooting a cop car with an RPG, and he fucking died. 
Is it gonna be a silenced piggy, which is the red choice, or the blue choice, which is why the fuck did the cops kill me? Re! Uh, which I think it's... I, I think on this one is gonna be blue. Lock in your choice and let's see who wins. Alright. And the winner is... Red! Silent Piggy. <laughs> Thanks for playing. Uh, this was a great game. This is a very innovative uh, style of video. So make sure to go check out the playlist and subscribe to reap you out for more. And for some reason, this channel only got 20 subs. So make sure to make that number bigger. And that's going to be it for this stream, you guys. I don't know what more I can do. Uh, let's see what DSP is doing. Oh, wow, he's sitting at 100. Dude, we made a comeback. And he's wearing the, the San Andreas hat, which is an amazing hat. And of course, One Minute Man clocked in for his uh, daily 25. And that's going to be it. I'm going to play some song because of some reason. For some reason, I don't know. What is the song I'm going to play? Let's play some of my shit. Um, um, EP, I don't know. Let's play some shit while you guys go away. And uh, level one, that's it, okay? All right, thanks for stopping by, Derek. Thanks for the contributions and uh, joining me for this stream. I'll see you again next time. All right, enjoy all level right. one. Well, oh well. And uh, big ups. You can follow me on Twitch for some gaming shit. And follow me on this for this stuff cool. like this. I'll be the guy on level one. I streamed myself masturbating. I'll be the guy fuck life. I'll be the for the thousands of children. I'll be the guy on level one. You're still on mission one. I'll be the guy on level one. Level, level one. Married happily, paycheck to paycheck happily, meaningful relationship, meaningful life with a family. And that, by the way, I have to raise money to pay two bills next week. All my utilities are due next week. Tomorrow, if I stop streaming, I would not be able to get a job. So it would be the end of my life. But outside of that, everything else is good in my life. You know what I mean? So I'll be the guy on level one. I streamed myself masturbating. I'll be the guy fuck life. I'll be the for the thousands of children. I'll be the guy on level one. You're still on mission one. I'll be the guy. I'll be the. I'll be the. I'll be the thousands of children. When your life is all positive instead of negative, it's a much better situation. Big up, Skier. And I can tell you that from personal experience. Look at my life now. I have a beautiful wife. I have a beautiful life with a family. Right? Everything here. It's so much better than I, what I had before. Why? Because I'm a positive person. Why do I say I'm not a children's entertainer? Because I'm not a puppet. I'm not here to play a character. I'm not here to pretend that I'm something that I'm not. I don't dye my hair. I don't act stupidly constantly to get attention from children. I don't do stupid pranks. You know what I mean? I don't cause drama. I'm here just to play games and have fun. I'm a legitimate gamer. Big up your dad. I need banana, tasty banana. Banana in my mouth, tasty banana. I need banana, tasty banana. Please don't be like comes in there. Put banana in my mouth, squeeze banana. Put banana in my mouth. and talk a certain way with certain mannerisms, certain over-the-top reactions, screaming at the top of their lungs, jumping, flailing, doing weird things constantly on camera. I need banana, tasty banana, put banana in my mouth, tasty banana. I need banana, tasty banana, please don't feel it comes in the milk. Put banana in my mouth, squeeze banana. Put banana in my mouth, Oh,
get the 250 vest streak for that celebration, I'm going to debut a new vest. There we go. Celebratory bubble blow. Very nice. There's bubbles everywhere. There's bubbles all over my PlayStation 4 controller. There's bubbles on my microphone stand. There's bubbles everywhere tonight. It's not a controller. This one's for all my baby girls. Then it starts to click, you know. If someone just keeps saying sorry when they do something, uh, they're not really apologizing. Right? All right, I'm gonna let this whole thing play because I, I'm, I like listening to it. Thing again, because I feel bad about. No, it. I'm actually gonna play the latest one. That one I think is is more underrated. Uh, the Dend King EP. And I'm very grateful for that. I mean, thank you. But I hope that that doesn't mean that people are gonna forego tipping, because that would put me in a bad situation. And in particular. In particular, I don't know why you guys. Okay, why are you laughing? Grocery shopping tips. Meal with my wife tips. Coming up, my day off on Tuesday tips. Nintendo Online tips. Bills and stuff tips. Tips are the liquidity of my business. Huh? Why are you laughing? Oh, so hilarious that this guy has stuff financially tight. Huh? I literally can't afford stuff on Tuesday on my day off, and you're gonna laugh? Oh, it's funny. You can't go and do something with your family on your day off. Your one day off for the week when you're working full time six days a week. That's funny, right? No, it's not fucking funny. Now shut up. Grocery shopping, tips. Meal with my wife, tips. Coming hey, big ups uh, for the super chats, Sunspot Gallery. I really enjoyed your your bacon sweats earlier. <laughs> uh, hope you keep making them, man. They're really fucking fun. Is the best summary of, of DSP shit out there right now. And and keep putting those uh, uh those steel toe clips in there. I fucking love them. Huh? <laughs> This one's for all my baby girls. It complements the flavor perfectly. And it's so weird because it's nothing like any other cuisine. It really isn't. It, I can't even tell you another cuisine that tastes like that. But it's, it's so good. And you, you know, what I like about Mediterranean food is usually when you get it, you get such a good variety of stuff. Like I got something that came with hummus and pitas. You dip the pitas in the hummus and that was delicious. It's insanely flavorful chicken. It's not dry. It's freaking robust. Give me this dipping sauce. It's garlic infused dipping sauce. Robust. Um, I will tell you guys is thus. Robust. Robust. They came with their rice, which is the seasoned rice. The taste tastes again. It tastes kind of different from other cultural, other cultural rices. It has peas and carrots, but it's also got this unique seasoning in it that's really good. And uh, and then also a side salad, which was like lettuce, tomato, onion, robust. insanely flavorful chicken. It's not dry. It's freaking robust. Give me this dipping sauce. It's garlic infused dipping sauce. Robust. Um. I'll tell you guys is thus. I bust. I bust. I bust. We went and got dinner. Now, this was a double edged sword. We knew that the restaurant we were going to was All right, that's good. the stream, you guys. Very high end, uh, Take care. Uh, Chinese-style, Asian-fusion-style restaurant, okay? 